it's only two of us, so we can easily make this work. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to worry. <laughs> Derek is busy working on stuff, and he's got children in the room, and Scott is busy with the convention stuff. He's trying to be free for uh, the con this weekend, um, starting tomorrow. It actually starts yes. tomorrow, and at, I think... 11 o'clock our time we have at least at me it will be involved in the uh the um opening ceremonies which i still have no idea what's going on i need to speak <laughs> with scott about that today um and then we've got uh so there's you can get tickets you should uh, if you make an event you get a free ticket um events that you can do that at tabletop.events and go to uh, bgg at home um, but you can also buy tickets, and there's uh, a cool Anka Gavril shirt for the con. Mm -hmm. It's different than I thought it might be, but I really like it. Uh, I need to actually order mine. And uh, you should do it. And we still do have, I mean, I'm trying to remember all the little things I want to say. We still have the, uh, I think this might be done today or soon, the events from um, uh, our b spiel. All those have gone up. Videos? Or, or have gone up or, hey, thank you for follow, cheering. Woo, That's cheer. That's a little... A little dance for a cheer. No, cheers are good. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I, so yeah, the last for, t the last one's for, uh, BGG, uh, BGG Con Line at, uh, spiel go up tomorrow on our, uh, Board Game Geek Express channel. You should, uh, follow that channel if you want to see in, uh, videos about new releases. Um, Actually, there's a lot of things on here, on there that are surprisingly not out yet still. So if you really want to see what's happening, that's the place to go. And then, um, it's still in the plastic. Yeah, we have actually For played. For seven months. We, wow. Annie. Holy cow, Annie. 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 It is Annie. Crazy person. Thank so, you. Uh, <laughs> dance, dance, dance. It was, uh, <laughs> was actually my birthday yesterday, and I was suppo supposed to try to take part of the day off. And that did not happen. He's a workaholic. Uh, right? No, it was like <laughs> just knowing that I had to have that done. And, I, and I'm not still done with it, but uh, it should be done soon enough. And I'll be happy to be uh, uh, ready to go for the con. I want to make sure it's not too much stuff. Because um, th this is actually the scheduling for the stuff on the main stage. And we are still waiting for some information from some folks. But most of it's here now. So I, overnight we got most of that stuff. And I'll put those in. And then... Um, didn't get free badge, for, I, but didn't get a bait for you. That was happening. It is free badges for if you had um, put in to buy tickets for the actual event, which I don't know how long that was going on. I don't recall because you know I think it was still hopeful that the event might happen when we went when they went on sale. But you can get a free event uh, ticket just by putting in an event at tabletop.events.com where you. Uh, put up something for people to play along with you. However you want to do it, you can do it on any one, any one of the online game playing things, tabletop events, uh, uh, tabletop. I'm just uh, listening uh, board to you. Game, board Game Arena. What's the other one? Table, uh, Tabletopia. Tabletopia, Tab Tab yeah. Board Game Arena, yeah. and uh, Steam. Well, yes, they're all there. Well, they're all they're yeah. not from Steam, but a ta uh, Tabletop. Hey, thanks for the birthday wishes. Um, yeah. The... Uh, um, <laughs> But yeah, hopefully after this weekend, I'll, I'll, I'll take a little bit of time for myself. I really want to clean up my painting area and paint some miniatures. It's, I want you I have to been do getting so much stuff. Like, you, I, I, I'm not that crazy. I haven't been buying as much of, like, the Warhammer type stuff. But mm -hmm. I did buy the Sisters of Battle or uh, Astarte uh, Sororitas or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to work on those a little bit. Yeah. And I they're sitting there waiting for me. And I also bought some stuff... Um, uh, it's true. Only uh, by t by working, but I feel better, right? I, it's like if I were trying to do all that today, plus get the game night episode that this this week. I'm not <laughs> sure what the episode will be. Paint the minis. I do no, want to do that. No, the one above it. I yeah, love I know. It. That's Matt Milder. Um, I do want to. Uh, I do want to paint them. I'm I'm hoping to do that. And we shot a couple ga game nights this weekend. Yes, we did. And hopefully they will work. Uh, yes. I don't know yet. I've only been dealing with the files, but not editing. This we're going to hopefully maybe make this this week's episode, but we would like yeah. to play it again, particularly to see if we missed anything. Um, since <laughs> some people in the audience have watched this, uh, played this, excuse me, maybe we'll know if we make some mistakes, uh, meaning we could fix something potentially or at least put up notes. That's my, at a minimum, I'd like to at least get, make a note when we uh, foul something up. And we don't always, or aren't always able to do that, Part, particularly because uh, Derek sometimes is editing and he doesn't know the game. Um, and I try to get information to him if we 
do it, but we may not always catch it. It sucks, yeah. but... Um, so it's a, it's a lot of little detail I think people don't realize that goes into making a, a uh, board game video. I mean, if you watch any of the board game playthroughs or teaches, there's always notes from anyone, but yeah. really. So the we will be running short. To, I'll probably be on with you a little bit longer after Nikki leaves, but Nikki has a meeting at noon our time, which is just one hour and 20 minutes away, but she's probably going to leave a little bit sooner than that. So <laughs> we're going to try to power through this relatively quickly, give you a quick overview of the gameplay, and then hopefully you can watch us as we play and see if we... Animal husbandry is a bonus. Animal <laughs> thing. It's the, the bonus bonus breeding. It's pretty great. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we really like the game, and it's yeah. definitely a lot of fun, and another Uwe Rosenberg. We have Why not wouldn't seen I this. like this I know, game. it's Tile Lang. Tiles. Uh, and animals. And I animals. <laughs> um, but uh, it does a little, look a little bit like Baron Park. But it's not. It's funny, though. Yeah. The, the, the attractions look a lot like Meeple Land that we played recently. Yeah. Um, and something else. There's another game. I know we've played a couple. Sure, with the tracks. Parks, uh, and maybe it's just Baron Park that I'm thinking of, but I don't think so. I think it's more recent than that. It is a little um, more recent than that. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's been crazy. We got so much to do. But uh, we'll probably I'll probably hang out with you a little bit while Nikki's in her meeting, so I'm not bugging her in there. And then I'll and uh, we'll chat with the audience. <laughs> It'll probably be just me unless uh, Derek frees up or Scott shows up. Scott is trying to really get a couple of things done. So uh, he can have fun and play exactly. games. Exactly. I don't blame him. It's, yeah, it would no be kidding. great. I would like to try to be that way, too. I know I will be stressing about um, the events going on live on the stage, and that w ended up taking a lot more time than I expected during BGG at, uh, excuse me, Virtual Gaming Con. Oh, there you go. I know. We can paint for sure. Yep, Annie. I bought something for my birthday back in August, and, and I, I don't know. It was one of those. What do you mean? Remember you bought, uh, we went... We went to... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to actually to the one game store in our in our hood. It's not really that close. <laughs> no, it isn't. Um, but it's... Uh, let me mute this. But I gave in to buying some miniatures, which I shouldn't yeah, either. She, yeah, she's because got... Because I have There's plenty of miniatures here. Uh, we don't, I don't need to buy anything, but uh, I, I bought a few things. I, I, I still keep up on... Even though I haven't painted... I painted... The last things I've been painting have been for Warhammer Underworlds. Yeah. Um, but I've been keeping up on buying those... Uh, uh, war bands because they they stop make you know they stop um, selling them at points all the time so photo no I thought this is getting this set ah yeah I've had that problem with uh, with capstone as well something was coming what? for me and I thought it was something hey somebody just subscribed whoo thank you very Woo! much Chris Chris Dube um, yeah I had something and I thought I was getting one thing and I'm like what well, what's this and then it was the, another and that was uh, that's pretty funny but. Uh, it's a weird thing. I think it maybe it's like an advertisement that's inside their email that so it shows up as the one thing coming oh, in. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Um, but yeah, you should definitely. Uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna like this game, Michael. I think. Um, but you should you should join us with at BGG at home, and hopefully we will like be able to. We're definitely streaming. We have Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. We will be streaming with I believe Rusty and Mike. And then Friday uh, at 6 p.m., uh, excuse me, 8 p.m. Central, um, we'll be streaming with Dave and Candace and Deborah. We'll have the same gang back for Coded Chronicles. The plan is for Coded Chronicles, the, uh, um, the Shining Escape from the Outlook Hotel. I talked with uh, Ross, and we're going to get the uh, files we need to be able to do it. Although we won't do the whole thing, at least during this event. We'll probably sure. do the same thing we did with Scooby-Doo, which was finish Escape the Haunted House. Yeah. yeah, finish it at a later date. Uh, I hate to spoil those because they're one time through, but they're fantastic. So you should check it out, try to avoid some of the spoilers, and then uh, pick it up because, man, does it look cool. And then Saturday, uh, we are streaming at 10 p.m. Central Time. It will be the Game Night Live plus the closing ceremonies at the end of it. But... Um, Kevin and Aaron are joining us for that. And Aaron might be here. He might be in our house while we are streaming so we have better... Separate. ...connection, yeah. I, he's willing to be in the studio. Maybe we do it with masks. I haven't thought about it a lot yet. Um, I know Aaron is just about as isolated as we are. and um, uh, But we're, we're thinking about it. Um, Dave may be down, too, for Friday, and he would be in the house as well, uh, which is actually pretty great. Dave... Did that for Coded Chronicles? Yeah, I think. he did yeah. the last time, and um, it worked out fine. In June, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, June, July. Other than some 
when you came back to your computer, some settings. Were oh my different. gosh, he, he zoomed <laughs> Dave eyes. He's and I don't my you know my vision's not that great, but at least I have uh, I can read well. And he had everything magnified. <laughs> I was like, and I it had been so long because I don't do that for myself, and I hadn't adjusted that for. Hey, thanks for following. Woo, um, woo. I had that was hardly a dance. Okay, I'm trying to read though, and I can't dear, read dear, it. Dear, oh, dear, and it's dear, gone too dear, darn fast. Dear, dear, I like dear. Um, Adam uh, Smasher has one that keeps scrolling the last ones, which I kind of oh, feel. Okay. I almost would like that. It would be right in the middle at the top, but it's pretty great because mm. I'm never. I can't read it fast enough, and it's weird letters and they're dancing. So good luck reading that for me. Okay. Um, but Dave is not Mr. Magoo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, definitely not Mr. Magoo. He's got, it, he's had eye, uh, ocular surgery in the, in this last, I believe so, in this year. Yeah, or a year before. And so he's, oh, maybe that was related it's to the, just yeah, to the, uh, yeah. I don't remember. But he's had, his eyes are probably in better shape than mine. Um. Because they're bionic. Yeah, he's, well, he's got new lenses. Yes. Which are, you know, fantastic, right? Because they're never going to get, corn, uh. Um, Cadill uh, Cadillacs. Cadillacs. Cadillacs in his eyes. Um, anyway, so let's get going on this. So the, it's a very, it's a, actually, the rule book is a little more complicated than I feel that the game really is. Yeah. Um, but we are basically going around on the uh, action tr uh, strip. Strip. Okay, there you go. Another, more terminology things that are weird for me. Anyway, the action strip, we're going to go around and count up to, in the two-player game that we're playing, we're allowed to move from one to four spaces, mm -hmm. and you have to be able to do the action that you're uh, on the, sp the space, either the... Um, the Tile. It's called the enclosure slot. Yes. Or the acquisition, animal acquisition space. You have to be able to actually do that if you're going to... Now, animal acquisition is not impossible, but this is the one that could be a problem. If you don't have an animal to place into your enclosure when you go, when you acquire it, then you can't do it. Right. Um, so you're going to go around one to four spaces and do that. And we have all these fantastic animals here. We've got uh, meerkats, penguins, flamingos, arctic foxes, tree kangaroos. There's only, yeah. I only see one, but there's supposed to be tree there. And then, um, and then these are the breeding spots. So one of the things you're going to do as... And those are not counted. Yeah, these are not an actual space that you can do. You just pass it so that when you pass it, Everyone who has an Arctic, uh, a pair of Arctic foxes in their it enclosure, it takes two. It, it takes two to make an Arctic fox. <laughs> uh, it also <laughs> takes two to make a meerkat. That's right. Do do do. But um, yeah, then whenever, uh, so when you pass the the breeding, you get to in, uh, you get to breed any pairs of an, uh, pairs of that type of animal up to two enclosures. Uh, you also get in a two to player two to three player game a bonus breeding, so you get to select mm -hmm. a different enclosure and it can be the same animal if you have, let's say have three arctic fox enclosures but it can also be any other animal but again you must have two animals this is one thing we think we might have messed up on the video so we will find out if i did do it i pray i only yeah, did it once i hope so um the other thing is it's very easy to forget like little things like that when you do have the breeding um you are only getting one animal animal correct. Per enclosure. Per enclosure. Doesn't matter so if you have even multiple if you've pairs. got four, you know, two pairs, um, you're only going to get one, one animal out of it. And then what you're trying to do is, as you fill in these enclosures, once you get animals, the same type of animal on every space, you will get to. They call it scoring, and I guess it really kind of is because what it does is it, it it fills up more space. But once you fill it up, you you remove all of the animals. And then you can you can place one into one of your houses. You have in the uh, two-player map we have three houses that you can keep animals in. And then you get to choose one of these attractions to place in your uh, construction area. And so the goal is to actually just fill it up. You want to fill it up completely, and the first player to do so will win the game. But if you do it on an a, so if you do it when you have an acquisition, uh, excuse me, um, when you are acquiring a uh, an enclosure, the game ends immediately with the player that filled it up. But if you do it on a, where did I take that from? If you do it on a uh, breeding turn, everybody gets to complete their breeding. So there's a chance that you could 
you could tie. And if there's a tie, you break that tie by however, however many animals you have on your, in your zoo, counting your house. And if you still have a tie, you both win. So it's a, it's a friendly game in that way. Yes. The, the penguins do have white bellies, and we were definitely trying to orient them with the bellies facing us, because come on, why wouldn't you want to do that? Mm -hmm. um, the game is really, really fun, and it plays pretty quickly. And I'm the start player, but guess what? Nikki's going to be the start no. player. No! Why? Do you want, I mean, I can be the start player. I don't mind. I know what I'm doing. And so. also, the player boards show you this is a two-player board, and you can see it with the little... Um, people icons and then for player order on the other side is who the start, number yeah, who starts player number. and you do and it then all the actions are up at the top so it's obvious and then the animals that are on top of the pillars are going to be your two starting animals so they're different for each player flip it over and show the other side too so, so it's a it's more is, crowded this, this is, is a four, four player, player yeah. side so you have less Ooh. space obviously because you don't have you know you only have so many enclosures yeah so it's a little bit, it's obviously a longer game with two players. And we're also playing the full game. There's a, there's a quick version for the two player where you start out with some of the tiles. That's probably because it's so big, mm. right? We, we yeah. have so much uh, real estate, but and we're going to go for it. the construction area. We'll go as long as Nikki has time, and then maybe I'll finish out the game by myself. We'll see. You can because this game actually has a solo mode too. Well, I won't be doing that, but... So hey, then you get your two, and you put them in your houses you, you in got, the barn you, area. Yeah, you got the tree. You got the tree kangaroos. Oh, you got it standing got up. Okay, standing up. Well, we can, well, they don't fit on the. They don't fit they don't here. Fit That's there why. They don't fit very yeah. well. So, oh, put them back in the starting position, and the elephant has to move. The board so. is actually just uh, paper. It's a paper, uh, like you know, a card thick stock. card stock. Um, this is uh, cardboard. Yep, cardboard. It, we can't. Amazingly, it's laying flat right now. We've had the heck of a time with that final end uh, laying flat. So I will go. I'm going. Oh no, no you, you switched. You, you didn't want to do it. I All gonna, right. She's like, I'm going. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> dang it! It's the same game here. No, it's not. Uh, we better not. I be. do feel like that. That was in that position the, the last time. The tiles always are in a different. Well, it's random, right? You're just randomly putting them out. Except you do stack the tiles different. I'll um, just go here, take this, put that four there. Shades of green. Put my animal in there. I'm starting to flimp. Wait, wait. What's the first ones to breed? Arctic, Arctic Fox. foxes, which neither of us have. Then so. it'll be. Oh, I'll meerkat. do my meerkats. Meerkat, he's going to be in there first. Do, 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 do. Meerkat. Okay, Nick P. Okay, I don't have room for two, so. I mean, I could take it and only take one, and we forgot to talk about the oh, question yeah. mark. So when you do, we actually just leave it on the, where the last person was at anyway, but you're, this is so that in case this doesn't fit, you can put it back, you know where to put it back, this little question mark. Because you are allowed to flip and rotate and, and any way you want with the tile. Well, some of these, as the board gets fuller, they still, some of the more crazy intricate ones are still here, and if you can't fit it properly... Properly doppelly. Oof, this is a big long thing. We are playing with a two player setup, but we're playing with the regular longer version, not the, long the quick version, version. Not the quick version. Variant. Short variant, quick variant, something like that, the rule book says. I don't like this. I understand that. Let's go this. This is a bad piece. And we will put a meerkat out as well. Meerkat. Merely, merely a cat. Yipes. Okay, well, I'll go here. Might as well. Do that. Flamingo enclosures happening now. My zoo's. Oh yeah, I forgot to say we are we are trying to make the best zoo in New York, and that seems kind of crazy because okay. how many zoos do you have in New York? Not many. Well, you never so, know. There might be one in Brooklyn. Maybe that's what they're counting. So, so we passed. We passed the uh, the Arctic fox, but neither of, the, of us have Arctic foxes or even pairs of animals yet. Yes, or even pairs of animals. So are you gonna um, go next one to get here? Yes, of course she is. That's a mere cat. And Merely a cat. Fox. Could I have the mirror? You've got it. And they go. Wait, I can put it on. You there. can put that one there. Oh, that's another thing. So if she had one in one of her houses, when okay. she places, or any when anybody places, you can take an additional one from your houses. Same animal. Park Slope Zoo is in Brooklyn. There you go. Um, same animal. Correct. The same animal. You're never putting more than two animals in an enclosure. Uh, well, I will go here and get a flamingo and a meerkat. Oh, nice for you. 
going to cram them here into this little enclosure here. But yeah, the, the interesting thing is, is that you might restart one once you clear out an enclosure just because you need to gain, to, you need to actually get these to sometimes, because there's a, lim, you have an unlimited amount of these single tile ones, but, but you need them to fill the board. I mean, there's going to be a ton of them, right? Nice. I think that's what I'm going to do. You can bring in another one. So you can breed that guy when he, comes, when he goes through. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I have no animals to spare. So I will go here. He has. Which we, is exciting because we get to do the breeding. Yes. This is flamingo. Flamingo. Another flamingo in here. I'm going to put this tree kangaroo. One of, th one of tree kangaroos. Thanks for following. I wish dun, I could read your, your dun, name. Dun, 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 and really, it's all very, very something birthday. Potable. I don't know. Mm. It's terrible. I want to <laughs> see. I wish it would show up down here. It's so strange. Anyway, because I would like to call it out. Breed. The nice thing is now we breed. And this is now meerkats, which I do have too. And so does Nikki. Here's a meerkat for you, Nikki. Thank you. And now we are playing the two play since we're playing the two a two or three player game we get a bonus breeding bonus and in this breeding. case I will be breeding a flamingo let me call them correct name I kept calling yep. them flamingos and pe penguins interchangeably and I will do a roo a roo a kangaroo and okay now, Nick and now it is your it turn is my turn I you're think. going to be passing the tile because you don't That's have animals <gasps> no it was going to fit. It was going to fit. It will probably still be there when you come back around. You don't want it? I don't All think right. So. Well, you're going to, I don't have a chance for it anyway. I will go to here and I will take a Kanga and a Roo. No. Arctic Fox. This is an Arctic, fo Arctic Fox oh, and a, and and a, a meerkat. meerkat. I was doing a, a Winnie the Pooh joke. Isn't it Kanga and Roo for Winnie the Pooh? And he can go right in here. Winnie the Pooh. We didn't really say what you're trying to do Very is... Very polite birthday. Good for... The... Hey, now we got another job for Michael. <laughs> Poor guy. What? <laughs> he said, who had a very polite birthday oh, is the, is the username. The <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Michael. Um, um, did we say that we're trying to fill an enclosure? Yeah, I did. I said, oh, and okay. once you fill it, you uh, convert it to one of the attractions. And we haven't been moving this. Yeah, we haven't been moving this. We've been bad. Although, that might have been the last... No, no it was, I Yeah, it was here. here. Doesn't matter. Because no, I'm going right here. Look at that great crazy one. That's a zigzagger. Can it work? Probably. Yeah. Somehow you managed to do that. A zigzagger. It's not just a W like a traditional uh, traditional Uva Rosenberg uh, pentomino. Okay, Nikki P, it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. The art is really, really cute. This is like the cutest game that um, Foyerland has ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I would believe me when he showed it to us in Ju January. I was like surprised. I'm like, wow, this is a Foyerland game. I'm probably mistaken about that, but you are. Okay, Lincoln. I don't have flamingos in an enclosure, nor do I have a pair. So oh, hey, guess you what? get to breed by yourself. I get to breed, and boy, oh boy, will I breed that kangaroo as well. So I get to add a flamingo and a bonus breeding for my kanga and roo. My tree kanga and roos. There we go. All right. That my was, turn. Yes. I don't have any animals to, uh, to put into one of the enclosures. So I will do, boy, that's terrible too. I really would like to. I suppose I could put them here, but it's fine. I'm going to get a mm. kangaroo, tree kangaroo, and I am going to get an Antarctic fox. You haven't done that joke yet. What does an Arctic fox say? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You could take that tile there. You I probably should. I am going to take it. Let's turn him around. Direction he's going. Hey, you know what? We haven't been doing it. We're not, really, da, we're not da, following da, 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 along. Da, da, da. Oh, our I didn't do it. Rule. There we go. That's It's Nikki. our own rule. Well, you are supposed to use it to keep track of what's going on there. All right. Just so you can bring it back. This is going to fit right. Because the deal is if you can't do that tile, you can always go back. If she went four spaces, you can go back one and do this one if it would fit. What is breeding next? What is breeding after Oh, yeah. That? That Michael's saying, yeah, you can take. We didn't say that. But you, okay. you can take. 
Yes. One, just one and then the other, but if you don't want either, you can take anything that you want, which yeah. is very uh, important. Although, as long as you have space in your houses, I would say take them from here so that you, but it might fill uh, an enclosure with just the one that you need to maybe get, uh, to get one of the attractions you okay. might want. Yep. That now was Nikki's turn. you haven't done any breeding where you haven't had two animals, right? Because that was what you were worried about. Correct. I, okay. I, I've specifically been, and I probably was doing that in the game, but okay. goodness knows, in retrospect, I don't know if I did that or not. Okay. Okay. Is that you or me? <laughs> that was Scott. That's about the, uh, so the, might as well say the, uh, Square One went live today on Kickstarter. They've already funded. Oh, yeah. uh, it, th there's they funded a, You already? should look at So That's it's cool. funny that they don't have, they didn't tell us all the games that they have on there, but they sure. have, a, but maybe that's because they weren't announcing it until it went live. But they've got some really, really, yes. licenses some really important games. So. Yeah. And there's supposedly going to be remote play with people. So it's, it's interesting. I don't. We're supposed to be getting a new version of the machine soon. We'll see if that actually happens. I can't imagine at this point they probably should be passing them around to like news outlets or something. Yeah, Although yeah. we're sort of news outlet, but sort um, of. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. So that went live this morning. Um, well, I can take that animal. Yes, you can. I'm going. I mean that tile. So I'm going to get that one. And I will Arctic fox it up. And here's where I won't mess it up, Nikki Pete. I get to breed kangaroos. Yes, I do too. And I will make sure that I do not breed my Arctic fox, which would be what I would want to do. I Maybe know. Not, and that's but there's only one. Certainly possible I did it. I really hope I didn't in this in the video. It's breed. So I breed my kangaroo and my there you meerkat, go. and then my it's bonus, a cat. which I don't. I can't. Wait, wait, how do you breed your meerkat and your kangaroo? Because I have their pairs. You don't breed right, but one, we're, we're you breed breeding, everything. We're breeding kangaroos. Okay, then that's my bonus. Okay. I'm like, what? You don't do two, two don't types know. of animals. My head is... You don't do two types of animals, I'm all, Nikki I'm Pete. all over the place right now today. That's okay. Um, I feel that I must, because I don't have anything. I'm going to acquire animals. Okay. Going to animal acquisition here. I want both of them okay. because I want a penguin. I want his little white belly facing me so that I can take another uh, enclosure tile. Oh, 176 backers. Wow. Well, it's expensive. It's nearly 600. I'm sure with shipping, it's over $600. Are you done? Um, yes, I'm done. Okay. But I would like to, it would be awesome to try. I, I kind of want to back it, but I just, I can't spend that kind of money on it. Not right now. Keep getting these ewes. We don't have any sheep in this game. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, Steph, how you doing? There we go. And what's coming up? Penguin. Penguins, you know, they're we practically chickens. still don't chickens. have another penguin, so that will not happen. Okay, done. Yeah, and look, I mean, I could potentially. You could. But I won't, they won't be breeding. But they're breeding here. Well, the Arctic soon. Fox is correct. Yeah. Ah, Arctic Fox it is. Can you give me an Arctic Fox? Yes. And I'll take another penguin. Why not? They are practically chickens. Because you'll be able to move both of them out because correct. they are the same. Right, and be in potential breeding, but that's this round anyway. Unless you take uh, this, which you might. I don't know. I don't have. Well, maybe I, maybe I should skip all of it because neither one of us will be able to breed penguins right now. Nope, no pre penguins be pre breeded. Hey, thanks, Casey4000, for subscribing for two oh, months. Dance, dance, dance. Thank you very much. Dance, oh, I'm not dancing. Dance. You're not dancing. I'm not dancing. Better than I ever did. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's a good tile. If I could take it, I would. If I could take it, I would. Maybe it's a good tile for you. Da, 
this way or this way? <laughs> For you. For you. There. Ta-da. Okie dokie. I don't know if there's anything. I can. I guess I could put that here. Go here. Hey, you know what? I probably get to breed that since I would put both yes, the animals out. Yes, I know. That was the fear I was thinking. I'm sorry. It's okay. I could have completely skipped over it and then neither of us would get it. That's correct. <sighs> not a great tile, though. This here is not a great tile for me. But you know what? It's going to go right there. It's going to have two penguins. And these penguins are so frisky and happy. <laughs> They're immediately going to breed, so I will take a penguin. He's practically a chicken. Yes. And I will bonus breed my flamingos, which uh, fills up my first enclosure. There goes Lincoln again. So I will, I will take. I'll keep a flamingo. He's pink. Because you have room to there, do that. Pink. Otherwise, they all go back. Right, and then. Put them back into the supply. Ah, penguin bouncing. And I'm going to take that flamingo. big crazy you Yeah, just flamingo. Did I did it again. The big crazy roller coaster, sure. Yes, because it's going to fit right here in the corner. Woot to the big crazy roller coaster. It needs some snack stands. But, you know. Yes, it does. And uh, I and that is it. I, I did the penguin, and I did the flamingo, and it's now Nikki's turn. Okay. Whoop. Arctic fox and a flamingo, and they will both go right onto the board. So now I have pairs. Pairs. Done. Okay. I have animals. We gotta put this here. I could start here, I guess. I guess that's the whole point. You oh. can just move along and see what's gonna work. That's a pretty great one there, too. Yeah, that's nice for you. Hey, look, that plus that we hate would, oh. be, a, would be okay right there. Yeah, Give would. me two, one little notch. I think I'll just keep it. Stupid plus. And flamingo it. Or do I want to do the animals, the, the acquisition? I think I'm going to acquire. So I will put that there. I think that was what we did. But I will acquire. I'm going to get a penguin. <laughs> I don't think chicken. Ruckus would be into it, but you could make a bracelet out of them, Ruckus. Penguins, <laughs> kangaroo, <laughs> tree kangaroo. I now have five of tree kangaroos. Okay, Nikki P. The joke is tired, and it is in the video, so you're going to get what? to see lot, the tree kangaroos thing. Tree kangaroos? It's your turn. Did someone say it's tired already? No, that's just me. I, oh. I know it's tired. I know that you know that it is tired. It's tired. Um... I'm going to go to Paris, France, and wow, that's actually not a bad Wow, one. let's make a you? lot of crazy stuff happen. What about that one there for you up, up top? Oh, um, you don't have any animals. No. you got to get, you got to acquire. Uh, I, we're going to do, uh, this is going to be a crazy move. It didn't ding dong, but look. Hey, thanks for resubscribing. Is it locked up? Because it's it does not look moving. Like it's locked up. <laughs> right. Yay. We don't have time, but we have, let's see, who is it? It was Casey4000. Thank you, Casey4000. It hung just so that we would notice. I don't think it'll work after this refresh, but who knows? We'll see. Am I waiting? Uh, yeah, yeah. Two, three, four. I'm going here. Man, that machine. I will wait now. <laughs> I'm not really good at being here by myself. Yeah, I put we um we filmed this one this weekend, but Lincoln was very worried that he had made a couple moves very wrong. So uh, we thought it'd be good to play it again in front of you guys so you could all uh, point, it, point out problems, maybe. Um, otherwise, you're going to get a double dose. You'll get this live stream of it and then a game night, date night of this game as well. <laughs>
But yeah, I learned it uh, this weekend to film for, for the date night. Okay, it's go. <laughs> la, la, la. I'm crocheting, if anybody cares. I am making Christmas stuff. I feel like Garth. My head's gonna explode in a minute. <laughs> I made um no I made um I made a, a reindeer a little female reindeer to go with my um red-nosed um Rudolph and uh I found a really cool re a bunch of really cool patterns for crochet Christmas trees just like for um Christmas tree ornaments or just put on the mantle or some kind of decorate -y thing. So um, I started making some of those this weekend too. <clears throat> some of them are pretty cool. There are some really intricate um, Christmas tree crochet patterns, but I'm not really... I know some people think those are great, but when I look at them, I, I think grandma so <laughs> that's not really for me so the slick fancier i not fancy but i don't know modern-ish looking christmas trees <laughs> probably because my grandmother liked to crochet and she had made christmas trees that look exactly like some of the ones i was seeing so that made me just think of that Dun, dun, dun. Lincoln's taking a long time. Yeah, I'll sh one of those, one of these live streams when we're not doing, I brought out some of my crafts before for people that uh, care about it. I don't like to do it all the time because, you know, not everybody's into crafting. They're here for board games, so. <laughs> I am not a pro. I think it took me a really long time to uh, be able to crochet. I tried many times in my life. My grandma tried to teach me. It was a mess. My mother-in-law tried to teach me a few times. It was a mess. Um, then finally, for whatever happened, Scott, I think I've told this story before, but Scott got me a kit of Star Wars char characters and whatever when I started crocheting those um, it all kind of clicked finally but geez I was in my 30s by the time I managed to well, crochet. I told, I told Nikki to like <laughs> keep at it because she uh, I'm like you have to just keep doing it till you get better at it because yeah. you know it was part of that was losing you know forgetting like what what you right were doing because and... I wouldn't sit down and and yeah. but then I also yeah. I was losing count all the time and the, the things were just disasters. They disasters. really, they were really horrible. And well, it just didn't now. click. But for some reason, it clicked this last time I tried. But that's been a few years ago because I've been making stuff for, for a few years now. Yeah, the uh, that machine had lots of updates, so okay. that might have been the reason why it did it. Who knows? Now I will admit I ran out into the studio, uh, half an hour before we went live today. So. Um, not everything was like smooth. I should. I generally look for updates to see it. I don't uh, like. Even though I still feel it should not here. be doing it while we're running the machine. I don't understand what that's about. But anyway, um, well, I don't where like were we at, Cutie? Out here, I'm telling you that now. Did you got? Did no, you I got to do my animals. This okay. is going to be a crazy move. Are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I am going to take you. Do the main action first, so that's going to be taking animals. So I take a tree kangaroo. Just one. What? It, what? Not three, just one. I, the joke, the tree kangaroo. Oh it's, it's my never gosh. <laughs> I was not there for that. Okay, and then a meerkat. That's merely a cat. Okay, and then, so that's that. 
And then I'm going to breed. Yeah, as, as I, I kind of need to, I finished off an enclosure, but I will. I understand. Take. Which one is finished? This. Key. Which one is finished? It's not. Oh, there's a spot. Well, hold on. It still hold is possible because then I can do a bonus breeding. Sure. This as isn't going to be as crazy as I thought. As can I. Because I I'll tell you what I thought. Kanga and Rue. I thought this was done, and then I was going to do a bonus breeding of the meerkats, so I would be finishing two enclosures. But there's that little stupid point right there, so I will only be finishing one enclosure. Um, I don't know what difference it makes. What, what's the next breeding? What a difference of those guys. That's the meerkats. So cat. I will finish off the tree. Tree. So Kangaroo. you go first, so I can't swipe the big one from you there. Dunt. One in Which I already swiped. swiped the house. I don't think that that would be really great if that you could do both of them. Those go there, and, the and yes, I will take the, the big giant one. I just and played bowling with Kangos. I need to leave that one space open. The other thing is, is we've been connecting, and you don't have to connect. No, I can you can do it wherever you want. Wherever I want, if I want. Doesn't to. have that Meeple Land thing. To me, it's just. I'm it's, sure we have that in our brain because of Meeple Land. Nah, for me, it's just it's easier to think out. Does that go there? That's not gonna work. I can't put it there. I keep waiting to get to that. I don't know. It's coming. I don't know. I don't know. Here, peanut butter jelly time. Okay. My turn. Yes, sir. It's my turn. Okay, I'm going here. Uh, I'm going for that cool one that I always wanted. I don't think we got it in the last game, or I don't think I got it. And it'll go right no, there. No, I got that one. It was not easy for me to place that one. Well, maybe I should do it elsewhere. No, that's pretty good. Although maybe I should do it this way so it's a little bit more flexible when the boat comes in. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I will. I will put a. Wait, what's coming up? Flamingos are before. Well, the meerkat's gonna happen. Yeah, but the kangaroo, the kangaroos are on the other side. So I'm just, I'm just planning ahead. Mm -hmm. And that. I really wished I had more than one. I did it once with the the penguins, though. That was pretty awesome. So that is that. That's all I do when I do that, Nikki P. It is now your turn. Seeing kangaroos in a dinghy. Roo, roo, roo your boat gently downstream. A dinghy. A dinghy. A dingus. Okay. A kangaroo hey, and this a is flamingo. Silly. It's not a kangaroo. That is a meerkat. Oh, it is a meerkat. Flamingo. I don't know but why I'm, I have a hard I'm time about to finish those. off my meerkats, which is silly because I'm about to pass a meerkat, but okay. Well, no, you just start a new meerkat. Yeah, but I'm, mm, I won't snaps. have enough. Well, I might stop just now and do it. Oh, Probably yeah, you won't. Yeah. Okay, and then I take the meerkat and that'll complete that enclosure. Ta da! That's merely a cat. Yeah, that's correct. So he will go in my house. And these guys go. Kangaroo in the house. Did you point out that this is the only time you can have empty enclosures as if there have no, been completed that, enclosures? That is true. That is very true. Um, I put one. What, what am I doing? I'm picking. You are picking, I think. Pick the four. Don't let me get it. It's not good for me, though, Lincoln. I understand. You can leave it if you want. You can leave it if you want to. So that's, that's a good spot for it. Do, Why not? Do, 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 Okay. Okay. Okily dokily. Well, I can, um, I can take another tile. I wonder what this one's going to be like. Let me just put that's that That's a there. very long L if you do that one. Uh, that's pretty good, too, but I was, like, dreaming about this guy here, what it could possibly do for me. It's pretty good. Do, 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 do. This is pretty good too. It would leave me with a, I need an attraction right there. Yeah. Uh, I could do that this way. I hate flipping them this way though, I gotta tell you, but that's not Why? bad. Why? I don't, I like the rounded tops. I understand, I do too, but that's just weird 
weird game, weird people stuff. Okay, well that's what I'm going to do. I'm <laughs> going to go over here and put that down. Move my elephant there. I'm putting the kangaroo in there. Okay, breed. And I breed my, I breed my meerkats. I will breed, uh, I get to bonus breed um, penguins because I can't do either the flamingo. See, this is where I almost did it. So I'm What nervous. do you mean I almost did it? I almost did the flamingos. And there's only one. There's only one kanga and one flamingo. There can be only one. You get to breed, oh, you don't have your meerkats. Okay, I'm I sorry. I don't. Go I for just it, Nick. finished them off. Hey, look what's coming up I know. if you want it. I'm going to take it because I've been holding on to that spot to do it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Am I on? Wait. I don't know where that space no, is. No, I'm crazy person. That is not correct. <laughs> this is more yes, like it. Yes, I or... don't know. Never mind me, crazy person. <laughs> I will take a flamingo and a tree kangaroo. How many? Mm -hmm. I'm joking. Tree. It's never ending. Doot. Done. Okie dokie. Pig and a pokey. Well, I won't be breeding flamingos this turn. Boo to that. I will. But I will go here and get a fox, arctic fox, ar, 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 ar. and a merely a cat. I'll move my arctic fox over here. Mer I'm merely a cat. And it is your turn. You know what I'm doing there? Probably not. No, I don't. I'm only a bill. Oh, I'm only. I'm merely a cat. cat. Yes, I'm merely a cat. <laughs> hey, Game Jedi uh, A4. Oh, Game Jedi. We're gonna, it's gonna happen. You're, you're laying, just your presence is laying the guilt on Nikki. It Poirier. is. It shouldn't, though. Crushing me with guilt. We have been so busy. You missed all the fun talking about my birthday yesterday where I worked the whole day. That's a great one there. That was what I was thinking this one was, uh, but I actually kind of liked the it. Guilt. Here. I got far. I made an account on Board Game Arena, and I invited friends. Yep. One of which is was Game, Game Jedi. Jedi 84. Okay. Oh, I didn't move that. Not cool. a big deal, but... Hey, I will get to breed my flamingos thanks to Nikki P. I thought she might go beyond, above and beyond. But wait, do I want to do this? Let me put that there. I'm thinking about it. Game uh, Jedi has said happy birthday not to you. Good. Thank you very much. It was fun. And Lordy I had fun with my my mom came over on Sunday and we went <laughs> and ate outdoors, which was fine. Lord um, Ebon's birthday is one day off from you. What day is yours, Lord Ebon? So I'm going to go here. I will flamingo. They're so happy that they're breeding right off the bat. And, well, you know, it's better than being in this and stupid a, barn And this, house. but this will give me a, a, a bonus tile. And because they're breeding, they'll also get that, which gives me a bonus here. So I'm going to get my uh, meerkats finished off, too. This is a big round. This is a double round like you okay. were trying to do there on that I'm going to breed also a flamingo and a bonus. I guess the only one I can bonus is... Uh, Arctic Fox. Oh, wow. Your family's birthdays are close. That's how it is on the <coughs> other side of the year where there's, well, my father's gone, but his was in February. My mom's was like five days later or six days later because dad's was in February and, you know, it's a short month and my mom's at the very beginning of March. Then Nikki's brother is like a week later. Yes. And then her parents and my brother are like all at the end of April, beginning well, of May. Yeah. It's, there's a whole bunch of birthdays in those my two months. My dad and my mom are like two days, three days. Five days apart. I don't know what they're. It's they're, ridiculous. No, I actually don't know the gap, but it's but it's pretty uh, pretty close. It's ridiculous. It's getting and to be my mom's is right before close. Mother's Day, so. Why do I have that fox there? Why do you have that fox there? I, I missed didn't probably it. bring it in. So one of these times I will bring it in, I guess. Um, so that well, I want to keep a penguin. And I get a bonus. I think that I shall never see. <laughs> That's nice. Lord a Yvonne. surprise party. Oh, today's party. your birthday today. Okay, well. Today. Uh, Happy birthday, Scott's Lord Ebon. Scott's wife is sat, uh, Sunday. She's the day before mine. We always, generally my birthday is celebrated in Dallas. Yes, it is. Because the convention is, the way it works out, it just ends up being that um, that time frame. 
I'm going to do this here. I really blew it on the uh, Arctic Fox. I wish I could remember where when that It's not a big happened. deal. I just wish I had done it. Um, let me just put this one right here because I want to try to make it a little bit easier to fit stuff into. Okay, Why? Nick. They're upside down. Ah, well, that part I can't. I this know. one I kind of can't help, but yes, I could, I could fix that one for myself. Ah, earthquake just to fix that silly thing. Okay, Nikki P, it is your turn. Flamingos. I got all the animals available to me here. I need to get them back on the board. Oops, I knocked one down. Passed it around. All right, I'm just going to hop over to the... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I went to I went to there. I'm sorry. I thought I cheated. It's okay. this that you pass. Stop being a cheater. Yeah, yeah, you don't count spaces once they empty out either yes. as, a, as a space along the board. So that is that dude and an Arctic fox. So, um, LinkedIn. I am placing one from, I grabbed here. Can yep. I move him into that I would enclosure? think so. I mean, I, I should have done it online. Go for it. Okay. Did you get your Arctic Fox? That fills it up, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, I have quite. one more little spot. Okay. Well, Kangaroo is not going to get to breed. So I probably should get some stuff on the board. Hmm. What does this do? This one's not so bad. I'll do that. You are also not limited to the animal components. Right, these actually are to fill in. Yeah. So you can free up some animals. Or anything else you want to do. You're stacking the same type. Aren't those the same? Nope. Oh, boy, they really do look the same to me. It's silly. But they're not the same. Okay, Nick, your turn. Yes, sir. Can I get that in there? Don't need it. got to move quickly. It's already almost 11.30. I know. I'm looking at the time. I'm freaking out. Uh, yes, I can do that. We'll put that there. We'll put a meerkat on it. Merely a cat. We will breed tree kangaroos. Just one. And then... Uh, pair. Just one pair. I'll do it. I'll, I'll modify it. What do I want to do? It doesn't really matter. I will breed my bonus arctic fox, and that fills that one. Boop. Save one. And I'll take a little... Wait, wait, yeah, okay, there, soda. You need soda when you're looking at <laughs> animals. Okay, done. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes, it will. Who said that? Stoney did. Yes, it will. Sure will. Penguins. Boy, these the only one going on the board here. The other one's going to go uh, another one into the uh, one of the houses. Another meerkat house. Wait, can't you just you could add it to a finished enclosure. You don't have to wait for a new enclosure if you one. don't want to. Let me uh, pick a, sh a schmally. Yeah. Okay. Still need to get that guy in there somehow. Anyway, your turn. Okay. Yes, I have an animal. Yes, I have an animal. We have no bananas. Do, 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 do. Ta-da. Done. Okay. Penguin and a fox. That'll bring the fox out. What did the fox say, Nicky B? <laughs> or one of the many ways. I thought that was all like that. I don't remember. Uh, it's been a long I think time they change it up. It's been a long time since I've seen, saw, seen that. Okay, Nick P, your turn. What do I want? You need animals. I could. You're correct, sir. I don't know why you don't see that, but. I just, because I'm all into the tiles and I can't even breed my penguins because I don't have a mate for my one penguin. He's very lonely in his enclosure. This is bad. All right, well, so one, two, three. No, we're not counting, but we should be because you Arctic can only move Fox. up to four. Penguins, pra uh, 
breed. Hey, guess what? I'm going to be finished with an enclosure. I'm finished too. Because I'm breeding my Arctic Fox. Your turn to pick. So I finished my flamingos. The fox, are you talking about the fox in um, in uh, that movie from Wes Anderson? I, I believe it, ha it was George Clooney doing the voice. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fantastic Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox, yep. Yeah. Do I want to go there? Do I want to go there? Well, don't mess up your cross. I'm not going to mess up my cross. <laughs> if I don't steal it from you, no. I don't. Well, I actually have a good spot I'll, for I it. I have right to now. have an animal, too. So that's the other way I can mess that up. Your turn to finish off your Where enclosure. was that going? What was going on there? Okay. I had taken an animal. I think I'd it was taken somewhere an over animal. there. Yeah. Uh, so my foxes are done, which gives me an animal. See, now you have an animal, too. You got a flamingo. I know. Back to the supply. But I could still mess it up. It's all the way Back over to the here. supply, and now I get to pick a. Wow, you know what? This is this is horrifying right yes, here. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's it's I, like a straight line. I did not Good plan. Luck. I did not plan carefully for that, so I'll put that there. That's even worse. You need to get this. I, I know. I need the and that. that that'll be fine too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. I'm that trying was, to move quickly. By the way, I know, I, I know that you don't understand that stuff. Quickly that was your turn, I my know. turn, so it's your hey, turn. Hey, guess what? I'm going over here. Yeah, where are you Take going? Take that other long... Yes, you will. See, I, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. I'll put my uh, Arctic foxes on there. Fox, he's just on his, by himself, or she's by herself. Okay, Nick. Yes, sir. I'm going to go one. Take a penguin. You know, they're practically chickens, Nicky P. Here, and... Ooh, that's going to finish that enclosure. Nice. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay, my turn? Yes. I will not breeding be breeding Arctic foxes, but Nikki might. I will. So... I don't have any animals, which I w am very sad, but I will take an Anne Flamingo, uh, an uh, <laughs> Tree Kangaroo. My other guys can breed, so I'm going to leave one over here in a house for potential acquisitions of uh, enclosures. Okay, I will breed my Arctic Fox, and my bonus will be a penguin. They're practically chickens, Nikki P. I bet. Then me. Yep. Oh, now you. Now you. One, two, three, four. Almost. What fits better? This, I definitely need the question mark because I'm not even sure I want this piece. It'll fit down below. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If I flip it. It'll also fit there in your... There. Okay. What's coming up? Flamingos. Okay. Now Gator Dave can just look out. I don't know if you, where you're at. Are you in Florida? Because I was going to joke that you can just look out at the alligators outside. <laughs> but um, I don't know that that's true. Uh, one... Two, three, four. Boo, boo, boo. That's a met. That's a meeting town. That is a meeting town. And I will bre I will acquire flamingos and merely cats. Your turn, Nick. Gosh, I haven't been to a zoo in an eternity. Your will turn. they depress you? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Oh, whatever. Let's just go in the full four. Meerkat breeding. Doot, 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 doot. And that guy goes out, and I cannot breed. Merely a cat. He's going to breed here. 
they're going to breed since it takes two to make a thing go right. And then I will, goodness gracious, I'll, a bonus, no, I can't breed that. It's not going to go out. And you know, oh no, I want to leave that there. I will breed the flamingo. Uh, let's do the penguins because they're getting close. The flamingo? The flamenco flamingos. <laughs> and uh, that was your turn. <clears throat> yes, it was. Hmm. Harumph, I say to that. One, two, three, four. Do I want the foxes? Oh, you know what? Fox and a meerkat, not a bad thing. Shoe fly shoe. So I will fox it. And meerkat it, and I think I'm just going to complete this meerkat enclosure. Sure. Because I'll get another one back over here. So that'll bra bring the, another feller in there. And immediately go back out into a house. He's like, what? Psych. Ah, earthquake. Park is too easily disrupted. Aw. Okay, I'm going to move quickly here. Got to move quickly. So I've completed that. I want... I know I'm going to want that. Do I want it now? Where are we at with animals? Uh, there's not a lot ahead of me. So I will take that. I got all, oops, I, just, I took one, took an extra one. Okay, Nick. Sure. I'm just moving one. I will take that. <clears throat> That's no longer a space to be counted now that it's empty. Correct. Well, I'm going to go. Almost oh, wait, I can't. No I don't animal. have any animal. Never mind. Never mind. You can get so those. So I got to go all the way yeah. here, but you get a breeding of flamingos. Flip oh, flip. I will too because I'm getting a flamingo right yep, now. Yep, and a penguin. Sweet. You get a bonus breeding of the penguin. Penguins are done. Three so two. I get a bonus. another, I'm going to take that three. I want to fill in this long trough I made here like a fool. And now it's my turn. It's my turn. Uh, will this work for me? I have plenty of animals to put in there. Yes, it will. Go in here. I'm going to put this in. I will put in a, what do we got head and head? I got meerkats, right? <coughs> but they don't breed for a while. Penguins are going to breed before them. I'll put that guy in. Hi, penguin. You're back in an enclosure. He's a king penguin, so. Oh, okay. Or she's a queen penguin. That is your turn. I'm hoping I'm not messing up. I'm going really fast. That is my turn. One. Sure. Surely, you just. We go here. And here, just in time for breeding. This enclosure's finished. Wow, I just laid that one down. Crazy. He goes there. Where'd the fox say? There. Er, 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 er. Da da da. Doop. I'll take this one. That is no longer a stop spot. Meerkat's going in there. Your turn. Okay. I'm trying to move fast. Come on, move fast, move fast. Link, come on. I, I want to get you out on going. Do I even want that? I don't know. Do you? Sure. I'll make it work somehow. <laughs> like a so. Penguins, meerkats, acquisition phase. Acquisition phase commencing. Your turn, Nick. Do, 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 do. I have to get animals. One, two. <clears throat> One, two. Okay. I need animals as well. So I'm going to I really don't dancing. want to. Dancing. Dancing. Thanks for following. We are definitely, hmm? uh, hmm? I don't think he's really dancing. What? <laughs> so I get a flamingo. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm getting animals, but I'm not really getting animals here. Um, 
I guess I could leave it as uh, whatever. Well, you're gonna not, breed. I'm not working fast enough here. Um, yeah, I'll breed something here soon. Right? Oh, we bring you. penguins, right? Oh, that'll be, that'll be good. Yeah, I get to breed penguins too. So breed your penguins. Okay, penguin. Bonus breeding of flamingos, so that's done. That enclosure is done, and then I will put most of them back. Put one in my flamingo house, and it is Nikki's turn. Did you get? Did you finish anything? Oh, I did. I did. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't ever get any treats over by the uh, roller coaster. I didn't want you getting sick over there. <laughs> okay, Nick. It's really messy that way. It is. Do I want that big long one? I don't know. Seems like it would really. I wanted it, it right here, but I gave up. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't going to do gonna get that. It. I'm going to go for animals. Animals? That and that. That's going to finish my penguins. Those guys are practically chickens. So, penguins done. The snakes. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Well, I've got an animal. I'm going to breed the foxes. That'll be a good thing. So I'll go here, take that one. Does not finish me off here. Mm. Not even close. But I'll put my flamingo, I mean my flamingo out and I will breed my foxes, as you will you. Yes. And I will bonus breed um, I will bonus breed the what's next? Meerkats. And it is Nikki's turn. Okay, I need to do my bonus breed. And I finished an enclosure, yep. so I will do that again. There, there, and get another. I hope that doesn't mess me up. I don't know, though. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. Tanga and Rue. Yeah, and then finally my meerkat has a mate. A mate. Okie dokie. Well, I'm going to go here. Flamingo. Flamingo and Merit. Your turn, Nick P. I don't know. I think I'm le leaving some crazy. That's bad too, though. It is. Although these will fit in there. These will fit in there just perfect. No. That's three, so not. No, it'll fit this way. Yeah, okay. that's pretty good too. Except it's still a long, long. This is available though, so you're okay. Well, um, I'm going to be leaving in five minutes, so. Right. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get a flamingo and a kangaroo. Tree kangaroo. And I'm going to breed my my kanga, I mean uh, my meerkats. Mm -hmm. I'll put one over here. I will get this, which is really wonderful. Meerkat, and I'll do a kangaroo. I'm close, Nikki P. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's your turn. Will that zigzaggy one work? No. I'll. One, two, oops, three. Okay. Well, then I'm going to go here. I'll take a penguin and a flamingo. And I will breed my flamingo. Ah. And I get a bonus breeding of... What's coming up? Kangaroos. Maybe I'll get lucky. 
And that is your turn. Do I want to bonus breed that? It'll finish the enclosure, but then I won't have any kangaroos for the breeding that we're about to pass. Doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Done. Woo! All we have left are the teeny ones. Yep. Hmm. Her rump, she says. Oh, this is bad. I don't think you're gonna start. You're gonna start getting troubles with. Uh, I am. Space. Us. General. Oh, no. In general. In general. Uh, me. I, That's I think not gonna fit. Okay. I guess I just take animals. Kangaroo and, oh, that's going to actually work out. I'll do this, and then I will just put him here and bring that one from the home, and now I'm set up to be able to right. breed. So I will go here. Wait, where are we at? Here. Okay. Those one, don't count. Oh, yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> two, three. Okay. Uh, is that what I want to do? I don't know. Gives me a fox. Penguins are next. Nope. I want to do this one. I'm going to penguin it up. So I get a penguin and a mere, merely a cat. I'm going to put him on an enclosure and bring in his buddy here so he can breed if we get to that at some point here. Their bud, their friend, their mate. Okay, and then you pass Kangaroo. that. Kangaroo. Yep. Breeding. Ooh, you got to get some animals. You can't put any more stuff on. I know. <laughs> um, and we Did bred. You off I didn't anything? do a second breed here. No, no. Oh yeah, I'm gonna print, breed the flamingo. Oh yeah, That's second the breeding. The end of the game. Well, Except this breeding, you get to breed let too. Let me breed. I bred that one, and then I'll do my bonus here, there and then the game's done. Yeah. You, boop. So I put it in the correct orientation for Nikki P. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna do this one down here with a minute. To, to spare. spare. Yeah, I was rushing. I don't, I'm amazed that it actually came out as, a, as well as it did because I was really rushing. I really like this game. Yes. Cool. You still had quite a bit of space left. That stinks. I really did. That's nuts. I don't know what I was doing. So look, this one would be great over there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or no, this T is really the one you want. Yeah. Because then it's Boop. just, well, either one, it's the same either Right way. in there. And then this, I was looking to see if yeah, that, that square was around. Yeah, that one's great. But that's at the bottom. But see, that's like, it's, it's amazing right. you even had room for that. That's exactly. so great. Well, they get smaller, too, as you go down the stack. But um, if we had tied, oh, you already explained it, but we would count our animals. Well, I know. Look how many animals you got on the board. Oh, I got a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I got a lot. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15. You get a bonus breeding. Did, Hooray. Did, 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 Thanks did, for following. Did, 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 did. Okay. I'm sorry. I got <laughs> yeah, mute I'm your, racing. Mute your mic. That was a Farewell. quick one, Nikki P. Hour well, and 20 minutes. You guys can keep going. Yeah. You don't have to end just because I'm leaving. No, I know. I don't know what. Well, I'll chat with the people here. Maybe we'll play something, um, uh, play something uh, rolling righty or something like that. I really want to play. I have it back here that we haven't played it ever is St. Malo. One of these days we will. That's a Marcus and Inca brand, Inca and Marcus brand one that I'd like to try. I own it, but I haven't got it. I haven't played it. Way for you. That's fine. It's okay. Go, go, go. I'm going, meetings, I'm meetings, go. meetings. I'm going. Meetings. Be the important. love hut. <laughs> Think you're important. Pretend you're important. That's right. Anyway, that game is fun. This I'm, is a bad Bye, cutie. I hope we did okay on the episode. The, the goal is to have this be this week's episode. And I feel we didn't mess anything. Nobody was telling us we fouled anything up, so I think we did okay. It's, it's the breeding part that is the most concerning for me. I don't know... It's easy enough to think, oh, I can breed. I get a free breed. And, um, and you've got to make sure there's two animals in there. So I, I didn't realize it till the end of the game that it was a possibility that I might have forgot, even though I knew very, very well that that was the case. Um, but yeah, this game is really, really fun. It's uh, a, a fantastic one. It's actually kind of a light game for... Um, for uh, Clay's company, uh, uh, Capstone Games. So I'm happy that they're doing it too. They have a good relationship with those folks, and they, uh, with Fire, uh, Feuerland, and all the big, they do all those heavier games. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the other one, lighter ones. I mean, you know, Watergate's not really that heavy, but thematically it's kind of heavy. And then uh, the, the new one, um, which we have not played yet, I just 
blunt, blundered through the uh, live stream of it. Um, crazy cargo or curious cargo? Curious cargo. Uh, that one looks good, but I heard. But Rodney was telling me when he put up the <laughs> how to play for it, asked me to put pin to the front page that it was hard to wrap your brain around. So it's probably not simple. I know if we had a solo night here, I don't even have Scott. Uh, Derek's got children around and stuff, and he's busy, so it's just me. Hooray! I don't know. I, I really don't want to do game nights by myself, uh, but uh, it's fine. We started with Nikki, and I'm glad we were able to, to squeeze this in. I don't like... I like to keep the... I mean, we've got another episode that we filmed that we already, we've already played on game night, but I like to try to put new games... We get a little bit of flack from folks for the... Uh, for the when we put we put them on the live stream and then we put them on a show, but part of that is so that we you know Scott really wants us to do it. Um, we put it on so that we can um, you know work the game out before we play it. And uh, I really it would have been better to have done this before then, but I, we decided I knew I wanted to do it when I saw it on the stream, but we decided kind of uh, last minute that we'd make it happen. So it's good. We are watching you. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, I, uh, I wish that there was a little bit more, uh, convention time before we get going here. The, the whole, the, it's, I mean, it happens tomorrow and I don't have every element of it together quite yet. I, part of the issue is just waiting. I don't want to get in what I'm working on right now. And it's really truthfully not that terribly hard. It's a, it's just, um, it's just kind of annoying because you have to get, collect pieces from all over the place and a lot of it is the publishers and the people doing the streams are trying to give me as much of that information as possible but it always ends up being there's something more that I don't have um, I am talking to myself I don't have anybody in my ears I don't even know why I have the earbuds on because there's no one to listen to and I don't have to listen to myself because I'm not in the mix um, but uh, there's a bunch of there's a there's so many good games though we really need to although I think we did on one of our episodes might have been on this one. You get to see Calico sitting behind me on the floor here. Uh, although you can see Marvel there too. It's Marvel Splendor. It's, we have not put away the games. I will be honest with you. We have not put away the games from Spiel yet. Part of that is because we actually want to play uh, a bunch of them and I don't want to, once they start getting put on the shelves, they get lost. Um, we actually sort by recent acquisitions in my collection. I was watching some people, there was a post, it might have been on uh, the Geek Weekly, I cannot remember, that was uh, someone's nesting games inside of other games, mostly because they would take them to a convention or, you know, a get-together, and they'd want to fit as many games into their bag as possible, and they would forget about them and they'd be lost. They were looking for something in particular, and um, I was laughing because I actually put location on all of my games, and I track when I give games to people. Um, that way, uh, it's... It's one of the things I will, I'm hoping for with um, the redesign as it goes along is to have a persistent condition on your uh, collection so that my location will show up. It's a, I'm not really sure what it's used for. It's probably really for the BGG library, but my library is so big now that it's, it's essential. And we do nest games, but mostly, of course, just expansions. I'm not, I know some people get worked up about trying to keep all that stuff separate, but I figure if I were ever to give the game away, uh, they would just get the bonus expansion, you know, because um, everything's in there, the rules and, and all that stuff. But I thought that was fun. People were having, given their ideas about what to do on it, um, and the guy had figured out what he was looking for. It was pretty fantastic. If you get the Geek Weekly, you should look at that, um, that thread. It was really fun. Let's see here. Let me read these. You're not alone. You really have a whole chat. It's true, but I'm not the best. The reading is, uh, it would have been a great day to do a tour. Yeah, I need to get the, it's so crowded in here, and it's messy. It's such a, the, the non-visible part is not in the shape I prefer it in right now because we, um, uh, I mean, we don't have anybody coming over, so you don't really, it, it, as long as we can get around and do what we need to do, it's not such a problem, but I, like the house, I, I keep, trying to keep the games down. We, that was one of the issues with uh, Spiel is I don't add them to, I don't put them on the shelves. Actually, I don't even bring them out here until they are in the collection. Then, then I can bring them out here because then I know that that way I've tracked it so that we knew what arrived for the con. And then 
I have everything that's entered in the collection and they all have to be entered in the collection, then they get put on the shelves and then I put that information in when I put the stuff on the shelf. The problem is, is I found, because we had so many cons happen and so many of the games came here, I actually fouled up on some location entry on that and we did find some, the thing we were looking for but I was very disappointed in myself because I, 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 we've, you know, we've spent, any time spent looking for games is wasted time in my opinion and I have spent half hour, 45 minutes looking for a game and I never want to do that again. I'd much rather put the effort in it in the beginning and then we know where everything's at and I can look very quickly and, uh, and pull it out. It's often the, you know, I mean, you've probably seen me on the stream do it. I'll be looking for something. Particularly when we did the, uh, oh, we could do that for a little bit. That was fun. Um, the, uh, <laughs> for the uh, guessing the cover thing. We have, I've charged this all up. We played it that one night really late. And uh, it didn't end up, uh, we didn't end up doing it again. But this is a little tablet. Oh, you know what? I don't have the phone. I can't do it today. Another day. But it's a 32 by 32 pixel display where you can... Uh, load in the uh, load in images and we were doing these pixely versions and the, the amazing player was Stephanie Steph uh, Hodge she, she had a, she didn't get them all but she had an eye for it. it was pretty spectacular but it was a fun little game uh, I need to actually get um, um, I need to get that uh, my other phone and do that one of these days um, yeah I the collections important to me I, I, I wish the tools they're getting a little tiny bit better as we go along I like being able to add on your collection page like you can you can easily it's just it's there's so many things about it that I and you know I'm a edge case for sure when it comes to the collection I not many people have as much but still especially if you're going to nest your games I think the collection uh, feature going into the uh, additional information I think is what the tab is let me look uh, and it's great and I actually the, the biggest problem is I would really like it to be a persistent state for the viewing of your collection because I always have to enable that tab to see my collection location and location is probably the number one thing I need when I look up games in the collection and I have all these crazy names for everything but uh, for the shelves you know I mean most of them because we have a bunch in our guest bedroom and then we have a tremendous amount of games out here it used to be flipped but we have gotten so many games over the, the years and the convention stuff. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we want to try to play these games because there's we've got to have a huge one of the hugest collections of this year's games available to them right now anyway because some of these still aren't available. A lot of them are starting to come out. I saw that somebody was saying in the chat that they were playing um, Prague, Praga, which we got a... I mean, they sent it to us a little early, so we had a pre-production prototype that they made that was amazing. It, you wouldn't... You wouldn't know other than the maybe slightly burning smell from the laser, and it was very mild. Um, let me go to my collection here. The whole BGG front page is, all this stuff is so much better for me now. I can do a lot of stuff from the single page. I don't have to actually go to my profile. I can just pull down my user and add uh, and select it. So let's see here, my views. Wow, that's weird. My, the, uh, I don't enter as many comments as I used to because I used to put little my feelings about the games on there, um, which I love doing, but I just, my problem is it, let's see, I guess library is the one I want. Does that show it? It takes a little bit of time to load. I, I definitely have a humongous collection. Uh, inventory location, it shows it, but for some reason the page is not wide enough here. Goodness gracious, I can't win. Uh, oh, there we go. It scrolls, though. So, yeah, I have them on here, and it's under private info. So when you click on a game and you go into it and you do your private info, you can add a bunch of information, including acquisition, how much you paid for it, and stuff like that. I don't bother with that. I don't really want to know all that I paid for these games. Um, let's see here. I should, though. I should put when I got it because that was one of the coolest things. Like some of those, some of those stories of getting games... Uh, particularly older games that I had wanted for so darn long. But yeah, you go into view, view into my collections, and when you go into your collections, it shows the, pri the information in the private info automatically in a little box. Um, I don't need to show that, I guess. But it does have 
you can put in with the private information. You have price paid, current price, quantity, acquisition date, acquired from inventory date, and then inventory location. And that's where I put where it's at. I also put in the private comment box, I put um, where it is. So that's how I actually track stuff that's inside of a box. Because I still want it to be on the shelf that it should be on. I don't know if that's entirely true. I might put, I think I actually put main game box for games that have a, the, proto, uh, the expansion inside of it or something like that. Um, but I also put a little bit, like if there's a special version of the game or something like that. I, there's still some games, amazingly enough, that we have in here that are not on, uh, that the versions are not on BGG. Let's see what everybody's got here. Yep, got to make sure, if you can, join us for the convention this weekend. It should be fun. A voice in my head told me so. Yeah, that's smart. Um, I don't have, I mean, we don't, we don't sort that. I mean, those guys are very, very good at culling their collection. They, 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 I, I'm terrible at it. I will tell you that right now. Um, I generally will give the games away if somebody wants them. Uh, if it's something we are, are not going to need or something that, I mean, most games, I don't know. You have, I'm one of, it's one of the weird things about being a collector and I'm not even, I know that's hard to believe. We have a very massive collection. It claims over 4,000 now. I know that's including expansions and stuff like that. But, um, uh, but you know, you kind of develop a reason for having them. I mean, all the Friedman stuff. I, I, I just love his stuff, so we buy all his things. Uh, we did get, oh, I, I guess I might as well bring it in. I'm going to leave you guys alone. You guys get to talk to yourselves for a few minutes because I'm going to go in and get Fiam. We got that already, and we're going to try to film that one soon. So I'll be right back. I want to see how it looks. I, I haven't even opened it up yet. Derek's paying attention. That's good. So I got, we received this yesterday. I guess it really was a birthday present. It took, to, I think, a little, little more than two weeks to get here. Henning sent us this plus some colored pencils, so I guess that's a birthday gift. But I'm excited. I, Henning said it really looks nice when you get this, everything on the board and, you know, because it's, the board is kind of like not full of detail because you're gonna put a bunch of other stuff on top of it. it. Smells like smells like a brand new game. Ooh, asking for the trifles. That's that's rusty. He loves that one. Um, wow, this really smells like a brand new game. Uh, I know that he got it and then sent it right out. We will not be getting them for, in the store for a little while. They still have not left Germany. Oh, uh, the board looks nice. It looks much nicer than I thought it was going to look. I think you're just seeing the colors as they, you know, like they're bold here. Um, but they're much more subtle. I mean, Harold's a great, great, great illustrator, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing. There we go. Full-on English rules in here, and then there's like a glossary. I need to read all this stuff so I can be prepared, but the plan is to do it soon. I just don't know when we're going to put the episode out. Uh, Scott wants us to play it live, and maybe we will play it live to get it uh, under our belts. But we do have the good thing is we have Henning teaching us, so he should he should be able to do a good job. I'm putting the earbuds in, and I can't hear anybody except I heard that my oh you know my earbuds didn't they were disconnected. That's what that noise was. I wore them in uh, in actually into the house, so it's a little bit far. Um, but this looks cool. The bits are fantastic. I like the little berries. Berries and scones and 
Woof, it all smells like fresh paint. I know Henning sent it right away. But yeah, this has a lot of lot of variability. It looks like a uh, you know like a challenging game. I'm very excited. Friedman hasn't had one of this nature for a little. Well, Futropia was pretty there, and um, what else did he have recently? I know there's another one that was kind of like that. Futropia. I don't know. Got a lot of his games. The good thing about the the German wood manufacturers is they do not stick together pretty much ever. I don't. I think maybe and when they when you're manufacturing them in China, which you know they make some great stuff, they probably don't have as much dry time is what my guess would be, and they often paint them more than they stain them. I don't know that it's really staining them, but it seems like it is on these. I would love to see. I know there was a good video about that from Ludifact where they showed the games being put together, but I'd love to see the, the companies in Germany. I mean, I know there's one major manufacturer of wood. I'd love to see it all. I've seen little bits of that because I know that they use a milling machine like they do for molding uh, on like your cabinets or house and stuff like that. And, um, ooh, look at the, this looks good. I just like their pieces, they're little crocodiles. Got 38 crocodiles and workshops, but yeah, this looks good. Traditional great stuff from 2F Spiele. Yeah, we are not, we, I know these are a little bit of ways away, which is unfortunate. And I do love that we were able to help make sure this happened this year, because if we didn't do this, I'm not sure what they would have done. It probably would not have had an English edition, although I don't know. I know that they were, you know, the, the put so much uncertainty and they needed to actually get to production. That was the biggest issue. What happened was, I know some people have gotten upset with us that we're selling these games and that they're not in retailers, but the decision to go to pr uh, print because they weren't certain what was going to happen for this year was so early in the uh, pandemic that none of the publishers could commit. And at least, you know, definitely in the United States and um, maybe some other, I, I mean, I don't know how the English, I, and I'm not even sure what's going to be happening with this one. I know that there's um, things going on, but if we hadn't committed, and you know, we kind of overcommitted for uh, Fire Aubin, uh finishing time, which I got to tell you, you're making a mistake if you don't get that game, it's fantastic. I don't know that it will get reprinted in English. Um, particularly if we don't sell out. If we don't sell out of it, they will almost not, positively not make another version of it because it's not popular enough. Um, but, uh, but if we hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to, um, they wouldn't have been able to maybe even go to print. It's cost prohibitive to do the whole thing. So, um, you know, we were, within our team, we had decided that we would go, uh, these are roses. <laughs> um, we had decided we would go with as much as we did, and there were other. There were some in our team that said we did too much, and it, maybe they are right. I'm sure we'll sell them eventually, but uh, the game is great. I love, love, love uh, finishing time. I think it's really well done. You know, and I definitely am a fanboy for Friedman, but I, I don't blindly love his games. Some of his games are challenging. Um, I can't even remember one recently that I just had a heck of a time with it and just, it, it was never fun for me. Um, I Now, one game that I do love that uh, is not, uh, a lot of people don't like is uh, Fresh Fish, which we did on the show. I really love that game. I think it's um, really great and I love the new implementation. As a matter of fact, the old version of the game made me angry. I missed it. There was something, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'll dance here. Thanks, Derek. I'm too busy yammering by myself. Nikki's good about noticing that. Um, but uh, yeah, that game actually, the, when I played it the first time, the original Fresh Fish, I, I just was like, oh, it just angered me. And uh, the new one, I get it and I understand. Um, I, I could hear the alert. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I do, I, I, you know, he's one of the publishers that I put, wow, oh, that's got a nice split in it. He's one of the publishers that I will uh, get his games regardless. And then I love, uh, hilariously enough, I buy all the Spielwerk stuff. 
But the number one reason I mostly buy the, even though I love the, the uh, Uli uh, Blenheim's work, uh, I buy them because Henning also works on those. He helps produce those as well. So I really like what Henning does on the games. I've just received the cost the other day that we had got from Spielworks. And it's a challenging theme, but supposedly a great game uh, That because of that challenging theme, too, on top of it. So I'm excited about trying that one out. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. I saw some people posting uh, reviews about it, saying how much they thought, it, how good it was. Uh, oh, we didn't look at the money here. Is this money or are these probably victory points track? But that's one punch board. That's amazing. This one kind of doesn't seem to, well, there's a lot of bits. Different bits than the other game. The other game has a lot more um, tokens. Uh, fire Robin f finishing time. Finishing time's great. Definitely, definitely. Get it while you can. I mean, <laughs> it will probably... My feeling is it will actually sell a bunch more copies when this becomes available. I just hope we get this before the end of the year because I know everybody wants this. Um, and I suspect we'll probably sell those rather quickly because everybody's excited about it. It's, it's rough right now, man. The shipping... I mean, Annie sent us something for Halloween and uh, it did not show up. It still hasn't shown up. Uh, this showed up. I don't know what Henning did differently because I'm sure they mailed it relatively similarly. It was through DHL. But uh, this took a little over two weeks to get to us. I'm glad it's here though. Um, and it smells like a brand new game. Amazingly enough. I don't know if I've ever had one. Well, I think we got Fire Robin pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm eager to see what Annie got us for Halloween. It'll be good. It'll be for Christmas. It'll be perfect for Halloween Christmas. I need to get the tracking information from you, Annie. Maybe I can see what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the shipping's tough. The biggest problem is, you know, one of the things that people don't realize is the fewer flights that we have going between places means that's one shipping uh, channel that is completely hindered. And then we also have the boats are all full then, right? Or personal going to DHL. I think he I think he sent it himself. I'm pretty certain. There is no like they don't have any company thing. Um, but he took it to DHL and he I, I didn't really look at the package very carefully about like how he did it, but it seemed like like when I sent the stuff from Germany last year for BGG, I mean Annie and I went and mailed it and it barely made it. I think it actually we sent it at the beginning of maybe November, end of October. And it barely made it for BGCon. I think it was actually late. That's how, I mean, even then, it still takes two weeks' time. You know, DHL, and I, I'm sure you could pay for, like, crazy fast service, but it's already pretty darn expensive as it is. I mean, all shipping is. Whenever we send anything to Germany, it's, I think it's actually better going from Germany to here than it is going the other direction. It's really expensive to send stuff here from here. Um, and that's a downer. Like, we, Nikki made a bunch of cute stuff for folks for, in Europe. And we, the plan was to bring them with us to Germany, and we don't want to lose them. We don't want to send them, because we've had packages not make it here, for sure. I've got quite a few packages that are coming from Europe right now that I'm now six months in, and we still haven't seen it, and they're still stuck in that country. So if we ever get it. Uh, wow, there's these little, are these gold bars? No, I think they're Grand Bridges. That would be my guess, Grand Bridges, maybe. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to play this. Got four, one in three days, we'll get one in six, December something. Yeah, late as January. My the Amazon is the weirdest one because we get I get all kinds of different timelines and then they show up quickly. Um, most of the stuff from like Europe generally takes about a month now. I uh, ordered some stuff from Amazon US, but it was a uh, British company that was fulfilling it. It was music, me buying some crazy music CDs or something. And, um, or, yeah, I think that was music. I've also ordered some DVDs and stuff like that, Blu-rays. Um, but they take a little bit of time. Sometimes they're quick. Actually, the one place I've noticed that I can order stuff and get it within two weeks' time from, uh, from UK is Zavi. They had a special recently for two, 3D Blu-rays, and me and Brian Yu, I actually ordered, I actually ended up only ordering one Blu-ray for him. 
but uh, they showed up pretty quickly. But they sh the funny thing is, is they all showed up individually. They were in individual packets that, uh, that um, you know, seems kind of counterproductive to me, but I guess that's just probably the fastest way to get them out. But each, each DVD, each Blu-ray came in its own uh, package. But it was cool. I'm very excited. That was very cool, too, because they were a very a reasonable price, which is um, rare for those. Because we both, Brian and I both have 3D TVs, and we are still, I came in at the very end of 3D TVs. They were, I was, I kept looking every year, like thinking about it one, and, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe. And then, um, and then the final year that I, I bit the bullet and did it, I, I would always look at the time of, uh, uh, what is it? Um, see, uh. Goodness gracious, CES, Consumer Electronics Show. I was trying to say comp, uh, Computex or, you know, none of the computer ones happen anymore. Anyway, um, or Computex. The, uh, so I always look and I'm like, oh, they didn't really do anything new to the TVs. I'll buy one this year. And I looked and got a good deal, ordered it in January, I think, or beginning of February. Had it like the fastest delivery ever. I ordered it from somebody back east and they fulfilled it from Sparks, Nevada, which is right down, I believe I know where this, the, the warehouse was, not too far from where we, when we go to, uh, to Gamma in Reno, and uh, was here like in two days. And that was the, la it, and it turned out it was the last year that they made, t they were like one of the holdouts. Uh, I think Samsung had already given up on it. So that was the last year that any major TV company made a 3D display. So I was really happy I got it. Then Brian saw it, and he's like, oh my gosh, you know, because it's, 3D is not so great unless you see it projected or on a good television the right way, and it's amazing if you see it that way. And so he actually found one. He looked and looked and found one at a, actually at a Best Buy. And it turned out, it was kind of probably floating around in there for a while because they didn't, it wasn't in the, the system when he tried to buy it. They, would, they couldn't, they had to actually look it up and figure out how to do it because they didn't, it was no, like it had been passed over in inventory or maybe it was counted as something else, who knows. So he was lucky, he got exactly the same model as I did and got it a few, probably five months or so after I did. And um, so yeah, we both are buying those discs and uh, I'm buying some movies that I probably wouldn't buy if they weren't in 3D, but it's fun and we really like the, uh, I don't watch it often enough, but I, I do want, I like watching stuff in 3D. We actually watched some movies recently and we didn't want, we watched the 4K versions and not the 3D versions, but I needed to see how the 3D, the 4K versions looked. Um, but I do want to watch the 3D versions because I haven't seen them since I figured out some settings on my television. Uh, actually, it wasn't the television. The television was fine. It was the Blu-ray player had some settings that made it, um, that actually improved the, the way things looked. It was pretty funny. Um, but, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of, the, I was one of those people that was like, I hated the conversions, right? I'm like, oh, conversions don't make any sense, blah, blah, blah. Turns out they are pretty amazing. Uh, there were definitely can be problems. When we went to go see Avengers, maybe, the Endgame, one of the two Avengers movies, there was a process that you could tell, you know, because a lot of it is sort of automated. They, I believe the tools for 3D conversion started with, color conversion like they they use to map the the objects and have it track on the on the page and so uh, on the screen and <clears throat> in the avengers there's this shot where you see like they're in this destroyed destroyed town maybe in south america or something like that um actually i'm not sure which movie that is that might be another one it's definitely one of them because it had i believe it had uh wasn't Coulson, but one of the characters. But anyway, there's a there's a telephone pole, and you see some wires, and you could see this 3D panel, like it's clear through, you know, it's a telephone pole with a wire, but they had somehow traced that to be a little parallelogram, or not even parallelogram, some odd shape, and that was in a different dimensional plane. And I'm like, well, there you go, there's a mistake one. We actually saw one for, I think it might, it might have been actually, it was Avengers, uh, the first one, Infinity War, there was uh, something with Gamora there that was weird. 
and then they fixed it by the time the Blu-ray came out. So, and these are like we're seeing them at IMAX, which is the one, you know, theoretically great place that's doing that stuff. But it's weird that they don't catch them all. 3D is just a fad. It truly is a fad. Um, I wish that they were. Uh, a, considering how great it is, I wish that they had done a better job. But I, you know, wearing glasses is no fun. And a lot of them use, you know, they're active where they have to have uh, bat, they have to be charged and they have to sync. This, the TV, at least this TV as it is now, is bright enough that we don't have to, um, we just have polarized lenses and, they, and it works great. Because, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an OLED, so it's like, they're pretty great about, they're not as bright as the brightest TVs are right now, um, but the, it's pretty great. And I really, I really like that Samsung, I mean, uh, the LG. I love Samsungs too, I, I, had, I have lots of Samsung stuff, but I, the, L, the LG was the one that was doing the, the OLEDs. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. We definitely, uh, collector guys and I, and I'm still like, you know, still trying to keep it under control. That's what's great about BGG. At least I can track my collection. I don't have any, uh, accurate inventory of what I own on CD or I kind of track sort of my Blu-ray stuff, sort of. Um, and, uh, I actually do track the 4K and the 3D Blu-rays because I don't want to buy stuff again. I, I've done very rarely, I used to have like all this crap inside my head. I've probably told this story before, but I was going to put a CD away. I went to like a record store, found this CD. I was like looking, so happy to find it. I'm going to put it in alphabetically in the collection and I go and it's right there alphabetically right next to it is the, the same CD. I'd already bought it once. It was an import, so it was... Um, it was uh, one of those uh, those situations. I have thankfully not done that very often, and I do have a pretty great memory for that stuff. At least at this point, I just I just turned it, had a birthday yesterday, so uh, I'm sure all that will start to go, and I'll require to have it all on my ta uh, devices. Um, anyway, we're now at 12:30 almost. I'm hungry. Uh, I'm talking about food. Thank you very much, Gator Day, for that birthday wish. Um, I wish we had a little more. Uh, Wish we could get together. Hopefully folks, I mean, we would be in Dallas right now and it's very sad um, to not be there. I really look forward to going. My, you know, generally we go to Dallas about three or four times a year and um, sometimes more. This year would have actually been one, two, oh, I think we had six trips planned to Dallas this year. <laughs> um, and, uh, and uh, we would be there now, and we'd be going to uh, Madness, which is my favorite game store uh, in the world, probably, because I've never... I mean, it's a qualifier. They are fantastic. There's one store in Copenhagen, uh, and I don't remember which one it was. I mean, I love uh, Bastard Cafe. They don't have as many games for sale, but the cafe is beautiful and wonderful. Um, but there's, a, there's two amazing game stores in... Uh, Copenhagen that are specifically game stores and one of them was super dense like tons of stuff inside is super dense so it was amazing and they had like really great stuff uh, um, available in English as well and I did not buy one game that Scott was telling me I would regret it and he ended up getting it for me later uh, hey Scott and then um, but it's great but madness is wonderful and I also miss I think I think I went to Velvet Taco maybe in January, but I definitely remember going to Velvet Taco with Kevin and Derek and um, Lizzie and uh, Tim Schaefer. And oh my gosh, it was a wonderful dinner. I think that was sort of my birthday dinner because um, it's always during the con, during the con stuff. The, D Tim paid for that, which was very nice of him. Um, but gosh, it was a wonderful night and it was really great food. Um, so yeah, I'm with you with the 3D with no glasses, but I actually have, I have glasses for watching 3D movies that have larger lenses and so that they, I don't get too many re uh, reflections or anything like that. Um, but yeah, Velvet Taco. The, yeah, Derek, yeah, that was his first time there too. Those were so delicious. I love Velvet Taco. They don't have any here yet. They, we, we talked to them at one of their newer locations with Scott, Nikki, and I were there one time and asked them and they said they're thinking about that kind of a thing, but not like there's not enough restaurants here in Southern California, but I really, and you know, there's not, we actually did go have tacos for my birthday. My mom came over, we went to our favorite taqueria near here, that um, family that we've known, Dave actually introduced me to the, the place, and we've known that family for 
decades now, um, almost. I think I've known him for 17 years or something like that. Uh, I mean, I think we Dave started going there like right after they opened. I think I think they've been there for a little over 20 years, but um, I, maybe even longer. I don't remember, but uh, they're delicious. And so we got we picked up some stuff and brought it back home, and then ate outside. And I got eaten by mosquitoes. Got a couple, not too many bites, but enough. I was like, what? What's going on here? It's cold now, but uh, it actually was beautiful that day. And uh, we got the tacos and the delicious nachos. I don't. Not a fan of taking the nachos away, but they actually turned out to be fine. Hey, thanks for following. Free gift card. <laughs> Is that what's it? Free gift card? I don't know. That's pretty funny. Um, yeah. So yeah, I missed. I'm I'm missing Dallas a lot. I, and Michelle's birthday. We're usually there for Michelle's birthday, and that was a bummer. I was talking. To, I was messaging her in the morning, and she was talking about picking up her cakes. They'd pre they'd pre order them, which is smart. Uh, from Susie Cakes, which is great. We got Nikki's this uh, Susie cake. Uh, I'm confused by what the ruckus has put down there. Uh, but um, so she was picking up the cakes, and I, I had told her about Nikki's cake. We got her, I got her the, uh, uh, the lemon cake from this place, which is f f fantastic. The, it's got super tangy, and it's great. But boy, oh boy, the frosting is just way too much. And the, the cake Michelle got from the, the Suzy Cakes was much better, like a, a much thinner layer of, um, of uh, frosting on there. Oh, thanks, Annie. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Hey, thanks, Scott. You're in there, too. I know. I wish we were in Dallas, too. I know that we'd have so much fun. And I love the new hotel where we do the cons now, and I would love to be there right now. It's really, really a great place. Um, the old hotel is really great, too. We still do spring there. It really is a great hotel. It's just the airport is a little bit... Um, a little bit noisy for me. I, I, I can never seem to be on the right side uh, for mornings because it seems to, you know, they don't have a lot of flights, uh, if any flights, going in overnight, so it's not really a problem. It's just mornings. Um, but yeah, the new hotel's fantastic. We actually stayed there for the retreat, so I actually got a bonus of, we were there for the first uh, one at that hotel was last year at BGG Con Fall, and, or Prime, I don't know what we call it, it's just BGG Con, I think. And uh, we all stayed at the people that came in for the retreat, stayed at that hotel, and it was great. Uh, all the, oh my gosh, I'm thinking about Taco, I think it's a Taco Diner, is that the one? Uh, oh my gosh, I love Taco Diner too. They have this uh, salsa that's spicy, but kind of somehow creamy that is delicious. Scott said they picked it up when he went and got his driver's license renewed. <laughs> and I was totally jealous, even though we have great tacos here, it's just different, you know? Um, the one thing I think we do not have here is um, truly is uh, Tex-Mex, and they have some fantastic, fantastic. It is Taco Deli. Okay, there you go. Uh, so good, uh, and it's actually not far from that hotel. Uh, hey, got another follower. Thank you. I can't, I can't read these. It's, this font is terrible. All I see is dancing, dancing letters. Uh, anyway, thank you for following. Um, but yeah, Scott and Michelle have such, I hope that all these restaurants survive this stuff too. They've got some really great restaurants there in Dallas. We do too, but um, but we haven't been to Bronco since Nikki's birthday. That's the taqueria we go to. And um, it's just hard. We don't, we're not going out that much. We go maybe grab something to go, like if we get groceries or something like that. But for the most part, or run errands. I mean, I still have to do, hey, there we got another one. I can't read it. It's terrible. Maybe we could change that font. It'd be nice if it was just bolder, because that's more important to me than his following part. And I can read the inf all the bottom part of that very clearly. Um, yeah, hopefully. And then, I mean, we'll get to... I'm hoping we record... I was actually contemplating f recording FIAM this week, but we, we can't. And I, I have to figure out when we put it out, but I, I'm very excited about it. It really looks like a, a fun, uh, nice game. I don't know. <laughs> hopefully it's fun. I know a lot of people are digging it, so that's great. I think, uh, I think, um, I thought I saw Paul had done something maybe about it, uh, um, and I would like to actually go check it out. Although I don't want to spoil it either. I kind of, I want to know a lot of the, wow, you guys have lost some favorites. I don't know what we've lost here yet, truthfully. We don't, I mean, thankfully, our real favorites, our immediate neighborhood is the Indian place that we love and the Thai place, and those guys are still there. Um, and hopefully the to-go stuff is helping those places, but man, it's not it's not fun. Um, and let's hope that the these 
and, uh, vaccines really help uh, soon. I'm very hopeful for that. Ah, oh, different. I hope Scott's got that stuff done. I know he's got... Hey, Scott, we got to do some talking. We got to figure out what we're going to do for that, uh, for the opening cer- ceremonies tomorrow we should have on. I know that uh, there's some folks in the organization that we're wondering if we want them on, and of course we do because we'll be boring. Um, early reviews are very strong. Yeah, I want to. I want to get it. Uh, I want to get it. Um, I want to get it to the table. I really want to get it to the table. I, I keep. My problem is I keep forgetting, even though I know we have all this stuff. Um, <laughs> that we got going on this week, I keep forgetting that it's happening. I don't know why. Uh, and so I, and I definitely, it's not like a tremendous amount of work. It's nothing like the spiel, but I still stress about the, the scheduling and stuff for making sure everybody shows up on the, on the, uh, live page. BoardGameGeek.com slash live starts tomorrow for sure. Actually, as a matter of fact, I believe it starts this evening. <laughs> so it'll be midnight central time or 10 o'clock my time. Uh, the, um, Lose Palooza will be on streaming, uh, and you can play along. They'll be streaming cartographers. There I go. Finally, I might got it in my head. So that's on there. They have a sheet, but they have something for each of the days. They're doing one tonight through Saturday. So that'll be, I guess, Saturday morning at the in the a.m. I believe that's correct. And they're not doing Sunday. Uh, and then they have other events later in the day, which will be on our secondary stage stuff. So you'll be able to see them. Some of them might pop up. Um, on the main stage because we have a bunch of secondary uh, streamers a- entered in there. Um, I noticed one of the guy, uh, one of the streamers, uh, uh, Russ, um, chits and giggles, was streaming video game play. So I'm like, you gonna? I, I should warn him. Hey, you're on the thing. Maybe you should play some board games. It's tough though uh, to do that by yourself. Um, but uh, definitely check it out. You guys should consider. Um, going to, uh, attending, uh, virtually attending uh, BGG at home. We're definitely going to try to be involved. I'm hoping to actually play some games with some friends that I was not able to play games with this last weekend because I ended up being so busy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird time. This, is a, this, year has been, this time has been the hardest time of the year for me. I'm sure it's fatigue from the whole isolation, but particularly now we would have seen, like, everybody. Everybody that we know we would have seen in the last one month so uh, three weeks, actually, a little over three weeks. So it's rough. Um, I definitely, <clears throat> I definitely am, it's, you know, it's weird not seeing people. We, uh, in California, we are not any better. I don't know when we can possibly get together again. Um, we are talking about trying to film. We, we did a, attempt filming outdoors, and it wasn't terrible, but... It was a little hot, and we had some technical difficulties, but it was still fun. We all were in masks. We were all outside. I'm, maybe we'll do that again. We'll try it again. The, the plan is to maybe do it and see if, you know, we just have like a, a no-wall tent up so that there's ventilation and stuff, and we have hand sanitizer all over the place. Um, as a matter of fact, we might have messed up Nikki's old, slightly messed up Nikki's old uh, spider web tablecloth. If you ever saw that on our, for our first season of the show, I believe, was when we had that. Actually, maybe the first two seasons. I can't recall. Because it was season three when we changed tables. But uh, she made that herself. And I think the hand sanitizer sort of bleached it. Uh, they, um, uh, yeah, Tablelot Network. I saw that. I actually uh, uh, saw it like Friday. A- Ambie uh, told me about it. I'm like, oh, we need to actually coordinate that with those folks. So, um but, um, uh, yeah, it's a weird time. It's a really weird time. And Nikki and I are so busy. Like, Nikki's really, really busy. Her job, um, it's all from the ground up sort of st- stuff. And so she's sort of learning some stuff while she's doing it. So it's, it's complicated. And then I'm, you know, it's better now. I'm not doing all the con stuff, but, uh, like the other con stuff. But I'm still, this stuff, I didn't actually get to do it till yesterday. I didn't get started till yesterday. Uh, I'm always wiping the dust. I see little bits of dust all the time. I'm the worst. If you look at game night, I do it too. I, I, that's even worse because I actually like the nap of the fabric. I, I don't want to see the hands. I'm, I'm weird about that. I don't know what the deal is. It's the whole thing. I do the, it's these two. You'll see me flipping things over if I can. 
so that you have the, the top side of the punch. So I, I'm certainly OCD a little bit. Um, but if you look at me normally, uh, you probably wouldn't think that. Um, the game's well? The game well? What's that, Matt? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not that dusty in here either, actually. We, the, we have it pretty sealed in here because we don't want it to be um, too bad. The, actually, the only dust that we think that we really have on is the, the, the lights up above. We have these uh, lamps, uh, these fixtures I put in that uh, when we redid the studio, we actually turned it into the studio, and they have not been dusted since I put those in. And those were over five years ago, I think. I think we started that work in two, 2000, uh, 2015, and I think we went live in 16 with it. We, we were filming before that, but we had that opening. Our opening for season three was, uh, was the, Muppet, uh, the puppets, not the Muppets. And we, were, we, we, wanted this, we wanted to debut season three in the re, uh, redone studio, and we just barely made it. I think that season, that actually pushed us further into the, the, uh, the fall, uh, into the spring because of that, because we couldn't, we couldn't get it done. It was Nikki and I doing the bulk of the work. And um, it turned out really good, though. Um, but yeah, we're hanging in there. Flipping the tiles to the front side. Yeah, I, I don't know what the deal, I love the, I love the little curve of the, the die punch better that way, I don't know. Um, so I'm a weirdo. I know it. The Muppet figures, yeah, I, Muppet figures, I think that's animal. Actually, Candace uses uh, uh, animal on, on her, uh, as her avatar, which is great, since she's a drummer. So again, we're gonna be streaming uh, tomorrow for the opening ceremonies. We, one o'clock, I believe, <laughs> Central Time, uh, and I'll be on that for sure. I'll be here probably by myself, <laughs> and then maybe I'll get lucky and have Nikki. And then Thursday we are streaming at one p, uh, three p.m. Central Time. I'm just going to do Central Time. I'm not going to fiddle with this stuff. So three p.m. Central Time. I'm not sure what we're playing, uh, but we're going to have the plans are to have Mike and Rusty. And we're trying to keep them a little bit less crazy uh, as the last times. Uh, it's a little hard to play. For, for us in the studio, we kind of have to just be quiet when it, uh, when it gets crazy because we can't, people can't hear each other and stuff, and it only causes problems when we talk. Um, but th uh, Thursday, we're going to play something with uh, Mike and uh, Rusty, and I'm hopefully Scott. I'm sure he's going to be free. That was the whole point of him being not here today. And then uh, Friday at... 8 p.m. Central Time, we're going to be playing with Dave and Candace and Deborah. Those are the planned ones. Deborah's actually might still be out of town filming something. Um, but, we're gonna, but she should be, the plan is she's going to be available to do it on Thursday, which would be great because we're going to do the, um, the Shining Escape from the Overlook Hotel, which is the uh, uh, Coded Chronicles for that. And it's a mature content because I'm sure we're murdering people in that one. So uh, I'm not really sure what exactly it is, but I know that it's mature. So that's that. Definitely going to have Candace and Dave, and I'm pretty certain Deborah will be there. And then Saturday will be at 10 p.m. Central Time. We're going to be streaming with Kevin and Aaron. So, I mean, I have only heard back from so several of them. Most I basically was scheduling according to their availability. So theoretically, they should make it, um, but there's no guarantees on anything. But we will be doing Coded Chronicles. That's the plan. I talked with uh, the op, and they will get us the files so that we can have people read some stuff remotely. And then um, I don't know what the rest. I, I need to talk with Scott. Uh, I actually was going to talk to him about that last night. We got on about a billion other things, so it was good talking to him. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll figure that. We'll figure out what we're going to do for tomorrow, and uh, I think that'll be it. I think we've been going a little over two hours, which I wish Nikki was here. Um, I can't really play, uh, I would like to play a game, of, a game of cat and mouth again, but I can't, I did that by myself on the stream and it was not good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the regulars, it's like, the biggest problem is, is everybody's busy now. Um, now people are actually working, so the, at the beginning we could get people in on some of the extra days, but now everybody's got stuff going on, and so I kind of only want to reserve it to when we are going to do something special. And occasionally, I mean, we still, I've told several, I've told everybody, we've got an open invitation. If you ever want to join us, please let us know. Um, Mike Nikoloff, his job is 
particularly busy, and we haven't had him on since maybe maybe June, July, I think. Most everybody has, hasn't really been on since June or July. I know Kevin. So Kevin is moving out of the state, uh, which is a tremendous downer for us, but a bonus for Scott because he's moving to Texas. So I'm sure they'll get to see each other more often than we get to see Kevin. Um, and it's been bad. I actually, I don't think we've seen, um, I don't think we've seen Lizzie, his, uh, his significant other, since New Year's Eve last year. Because we've, you know, the whole plan was uh, we would do more, um, we would do more uh, getting together kind of things, and then everything. And you know, the beginning of the year was so busy, we c I couldn't do anything, and so now we're, uh, now they're moving away. And I know they've actually already got a home, and I think, I think the plan is to be gone by the end of the year. So that's a real bummer. Huh? Kevin. Yeah. Um, and there's others. I mean, other folks. Things are changing. Um, we do have uh, we do have uh, Aaron back in town, and hopefully we can all get back together before he's really gone, if he were to go back to uh, uh, up north. Um, and then Dave is is up north with his parents. Um, so we don't have like the you know Rusty. Thankfully, he's here. Um, Rusty's like us. W w our parents are all here, so none of us really want to move away from our parents. Um, and I don't really want to move away from L.A. I, it's okay. I got to tell you. So we went to drop off some stuff for our friend Brian Yu on Saturday. And we just went and dropped. Uh, it was basically the same thing we did with Deborah a few months back. Just dropped things off that had been accumulating at the house for them. And so we stopped by. And we drove at like 7.30 in the evening and made it all the way to the, basically to the airport in 20 minutes. That was an amazing thing. I mean, it was it was like middle of the night driving at on a Saturday night at That's like miracle but stuff. But there's no place for anybody to go, so there's nobody um, uh, there's nobody uh, on the roads really. So it was pretty hilarious. I looked it up a little bit earlier and saw that there was some something happening on the freeway near the 10, which is three quarter two thirds of the way at least to the uh, maybe three quarters of the way to the uh, airport, and. Um, by the time we drove, it was completely wide open. And I was like, this is amazing. Can't, can't we have this one? Because then LA would be wonderful if we didn't have to. That's the biggest headache is traffic. Um, and that particular branch to kind of get to that yeah, area of true. LA, it's just, it's that one vein pretty much. Yeah, so everybody's well, taking it. Because it. of the airport, yeah. It's ridiculous. Bad. Yeah, I miss BGG Con. It's going to be a real bummer. I mean, I know I'm already like, I we know. would be at the hotel today. I know. <laughs> I'd be setting up a booth. I'd be freaking right? out about. Pa um, oh yeah, we'd be there today because tomorrow the morning is the, is, the, is the line, there. you know, the the lineup yeah. for the to get the badges. So yeah, we would be in the hotel already. Freaking out, me freaking out. Yeah, Nikki and I would be like, eh. or they didn't if you send do, that. if we did like we did. Gosh, I cannot believe it was a year ago. Scott was got a new house at the time of the. Uh, at the con, and so we were just, we were moving the delicate and the things that, that he wanted to move, and we were racing to move things, the, even the day of and during the event, we took one more run while, like. The Legos, remember the Was it Lego? Le I don't know. We no, moved that some, was before the con. Yeah, we moved all the Legos But that was the like the night before. Cramp. We always end up renting a van whenever we go to Dallas because there's always some stuff to do, and oh my gosh, I cannot believe that was a year ago. It's a year ago. That is hard you to believe. You actually stayed at his house. I still have not stayed yeah, at his house. Yeah, yeah, I stayed house. at his house in J January. It's a nice place. It's street racing and too fast to I wasn't going fast. It was just 22 minutes. It's actually 17 miles from our house. Now, that may be he as the crow flies. He wasn't going too fast because I was driving. Oh, that's right. Nikki was driving. But uh, it's as the crow flies, maybe, 17 miles. But it's not that much more, maybe 22 or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but there was no traffic. I mean, there were cars on the road, but it wasn't uh, wasn't bad. It was pretty He's, pretty weird. I'm the driver when we're home, and Lincoln's the driver when we're traveling. True. We got the the, the MX-5. I'm yes, driving. I know. Well, my car is actually uh, pretending to be to be at somebody else's house right now, <laughs> which might give you a hint. It's at Dave's place. Shush. Uh, You've ruined the ruse. It doesn't matter. It's just <laughs> he's the neighbor. He was worried about the neighbor. I'm like, I can park my car there. Um, it needs a, I cracked the windshield last Excellent. year in August or something like that. Not too long before, um, not too long before Sarah and uh, Nick were here. Because they were here at the beginning of October. Oh, so right. my window cracked. And we still drove around with that, which I didn't want to do. But Nikki had already taken her car. And we were meeting her to go eat. 
I think yeah. we went to Dino's, right? Was that what we did? Go yeah. To Dino's? And I then, was at my hairdresser. Yeah, exactly. And you guys met up with yep. me for And so I had to go in my car, which was um, not ideal. Hairdresser, what's that? But now I, I need to actually know. take care of getting the glass done. And I, th I think I'm going to do it at Dave's because it'd just be easier. Um, but since I can't drive it, I have it parked at his place. Let's see, anybody miss anything? They're did you so do? Cute. Did you do any spectacular Dallas after? We usually go before the con. We go. It depends on the con. Like for November, because we were, I used to be with my job, my old job. I would be at Sh Spiel, and then I'd be home for like a week, and then I'd be going to um, to uh, BGG Con. I generally came in pretty late, but then since I started working, I we usually come like Thursday or Friday, mm -hmm. at least before the event. Sure, um, because then I stopped working at a at a office nine to five job too so that freed she, it yeah, up you could work there. i could work wherever as long as i had right. a laptop and now, it would be better for her to work at the new location because she sat downstairs which she loves daylight yes, but she I had do. her back to the window and uh, it's too dang bright i know but it warmed you but up but it I was know. warm i'm a lizard person yeah yeah i was all he has a nice outdoor patio <laughs> that time dino's reference at 212 so we do take everybody to dino's <laughs> it is very much true um the car is vacationing uh, Annie has been to Dino's. Yes. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, Scott. We've taken Scott several times. Several times to Dino's. And, uh, Who's the British guy that we Ro met at Dino's? Uh, Ro Ross. Ross, yeah, yeah. yes. Russ. Russ, Russ, Russ. 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 Yeah, Ro uh, Russ. He's the, um, for Chits and Giggles. Yeah, we met him there yeah. actually last year, before we, just before we were heading out. And then Nick and... Yeah, Nick yeah. and Sarah. But yeah, Sarah. we had just done that probably less than three weeks before that we took them. Um, Who else? Your mom's sister, but that's yeah. not we board take, game We take related. just about, oh, I took Derek. That was the last time we actually ate. Actually, we didn't get to eat inside. They were the first restaurant we went to that was closed, closed. for indoor dining. Yeah. So we went and got pizza, then ate at mom's. And my mom was already basically isolating, so she had like stare. We didn't have masks at that time no, even. But, but remember, she cleaned every, everything. Everything was touch anything. paper plates yeah. and... So uh, that was our first, uh, that was the first, and we've been to Dino's, I think mom brought Dino's by once when she came by mm -hmm. early after we hadn't seen her for several months, and then uh, that's how she got her way in, no I'm kidding, and then, um, and then we got it one more time, I think Nikki and I were over there for a reason, I don't remember why, and we picked, it, picked one up and brought it home, which is not, it's still delicious, Dino's yeah. is delicious no matter what, but it's definitely better at the place. Um, I feel that way about pizza in general, so I, I really don't want to... Yeah. But, Toasty oh my gosh. goodness. I have picked it up a few times, brought it home, and actually put it in the oven to heat it instead of cutting a slice and putting it in the microwave. And it helps yeah, it's a little. the crunchiness of the crust the crisp... just out of the yeah, oven is phenomenal. Um, we went there... So How when we went snobby to... is that? I know, but when we went... <laughs> well, we like to eat it in the restaurant. It's not a snobby place, don't get me wrong. <laughs> no, it is um, at all. <laughs> we went in... Because it's like a been there for a long time but it's i went to pick the pizza it's in the parking lot of the pet boys yeah, exactly there's a it's, <laughs> it's been there a long time but it's um somehow there's a pet boys which is an pet boys is not is normally an auto parts store but this is actually a pet boys repair place repair place and so it's a pain in the butt to go there yeah but uh we went there to pick up the pizza the last time and we ordered it online and i get there and they have a little window that they've got open that you can pay and get your you know uh and then wait uh, although I paid for that online, but um, I just had to let them know I was there. But inside the dining area is filled with supplies. They have just everything. My mom is the one who kind of came up with why they, people are doing that. They're just making sure they have plenty of supplies. Plenty. Because yeah. of the, uh, the shortages and stuff occasionally that are happening. And so. everybody's doing to go, really. We're weird. We eat in my car, which needs a yeah, cleaning so a, bad. Not a good plan. But it's we, not a good plan. It needs... We don't do it too often because it's like, it is not fun. A super suction vacuum cleaner in there now. Yeah. She's got the animals uh, They're cute. breeding now. They're, no, they're talking. <laughs> Love Mingos. <laughs> Anywho, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope to see some of you during BGG at home and definitely during our, during our streams. Again, we're going to be streaming Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. Friday at 8 p.m. Central and Saturday at 10 p.m. Central. So our, our early stream is at 1 for us next on Thursday. 
Okay, I need to write this down. I know. I no, Nikki you just told me, say it out I know, loud I can't and do it that. Doesn't, doesn't stick know, in my head. I need no, to I hope to see it everybody, down. but I don't know that everybody can join us. I know that we don't always get it. We see a, a, a rotating crew. I will actually um, maybe tweet that out th those times too for folks. If I ever get um, um, the Quetzal going on, uh, Game Jedi, you are, you are actually going to be testing it because a friend oh, yeah, of ours friend played of ours. it and said that it was buggy jennifer who's on our, uh <laughs> has been on once on game night we'd like to have her on more times it always ends up she's here during the holidays yes. and nobody's around so yes. we we kind of i really like four players as kind of like the, the the number for gaming but um but buggy doesn't but, help but they with did the game, with she the does developer. a she does a convention <laughs> normally at the beginning of november and she did it this last weekend so by she pushed it back one week but they did, hey, thanks for following, I can't see that. Kit Kitten Ninja? Kitten Ninja. Kitten, okay. Kittened Kitten Ninja? Ninja okay. I think I saw an ED there. Um, the, uh, <coughs> but she did her life, uh, her uh, virtual event for her con this last weekend that's normally in Seattle. And um, although she's in Portland running it, she was in Portland running it, but she said they had some glitches on Quetzal. I think it was mostly... She wrote me, I can actually get you that information. It was mostly like you would see the card, like you would peek the card maybe, and then it would not be that card or something like that. Oh, there it is. Kilted. There we Kilted. go. Kilted. Okay. Kilted. But I'll take Kitten Ninja. I'll take Ninja. Kitten Ninja's pretty good too. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll try to uh, tweet out that the information about when we're doing it. I'm not sure, again, what we'll... Scott and I will talk about it. We have a lot of good stuff. We just have to figure things that others can play. And thankfully, it's not too crowded. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you guys then. Everybody, you take care. Stay safe. Um, sad that we won't be seeing some of you at BGG Con this year. Hopefully next and year things will change. And all the food. How much food did you discuss we were before we were talking I about, even got back We talked about here. Velvet Taco, how that was basically, I think, my dinner meal that Tim paid for. We had Derek. Yes. It Kevin was your Lizzie, birthday dinner. And Tim, Tim mm -hmm. and you and me. And we went during the con. Bye, Matt. You guys take care. Ha. Anyways, see you guys. Take care. Have a great weekend if we don't see you. And maybe we'll see you next Tuesday. See you next time.